with all this running thanks to the entertainment you beautiful man. Hi guys, hope you're good. Thank you for coming in. Good morning, afternoon and evening and tings. Thanks very much for coming in, peeps. Hope you're all well. Sea biscuit cheers for the 46 months. Time does in fle indeed fly when you're approaching 38. Holy shit. Alright, well I'm trying to get in a server. We'll see how it goes. There's a little bit of a queue. Uh, see how quick it goes down. It might go down quick. Uh, Prometheus, thank you very much for the 45 months. Patrick, thank you. Oh, that was yesterday, but Patrick, thank you anyway. So they've patched the uh, the glow stick bug, and they've they've patched the body's not respawning, despawning. So everything's back to normal today. Uh, I've joined a server with a bit of a queue. Uh, I'm going to give it a little minute just to see how it works out. If it doesn't go down fairly quick, then uh, we may end up on Alteria again. Just found the DMR in official. Well, here's hoping you get to keep it and use it, dude. Cheers GG. to five months. Thanks for what you do upside down. Toastmance, TRMZ, love, What's TRMZ, love. favourite map on DayZ? I like Umfantata. My favourite map. I really like the roller coaster. The roller coaster is amazing. You wouldn't think you'd be able to use it because there'd be no power, but you can. It's fantastic. Uh, JD, sorry, I stupid answer. I don't really have a favourite map. Right now, on any given day, Alteria is the map I want to play, but that's just the flavour of the month, right? Alteria is a great map, but in the last two years, Namalsk has been my flavour of the month, Deir Al has been my flavour of the month, Banov has been my flavour... I, I like to have a whole harem of maps, you know? Right now, if I, if I had to choose one map to play for a couple of weeks, it would be Alteria. But if I had to choose one map to play forever, it would probably be Chernerus. Chernerus is like... Uh, your long-term relationship and all the other maps are like uh, a little bit of a dalliance, you know. But it's allowed. It's not like you're going to get your knackers chopped off. Uh, Savage Goon, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Mindset, thank you very much as well. Uh, cheers for the resubscribing. Uh, how's life treating you? Not too bad. Been out and walked the dog. I've had a very unhealthy lunch, which I quite enjoyed. I had uh, I had gluten, so I had to have a tablet, but. I had a vegetable samosa and a uh, scotch egg from the butchers where we walked the dog. There's a couple of shops nearby, so we went there. Very fancy as well. Very fancy. And a donut too. All the gluten I've had today. I've had a gluten binge. Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson. I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true. That's a fucking joke. To be fair, 
GG if Mike Tyson gets the money. But Mike Tyson is like a shadow of his former self. As a, as a, I hope that's not true. Zuke, God, that was a while ago. Yeah. Morning. Mike Tyson will break that kid. I hate to tell you, but I'm not sure that's true. Mike Tyson at any point while he was still an active UMP boxer would have done, even near the end. But now, eh, he's got 20 odd years on him, you know? I, I just, I, I, that, that's, that, it, it, it's hard to say that's sad because it does, it does hurt Mike Tyson's legacy a little bit, but if it makes him a million or two, then fair play on that front, you know? <clears throat> Time of prolonged and position might be altered due to server change. Oh shit. 14 months in, the first streamer oh, I subbed to when I found Day Z. Keep up the amazing work, Paul. Hope all is well, TRMZ love. So I was going to do official, but I've got a DMR character on official. I can't do official, can I? Greeting with praise and thanks less than three. Oh, fuck. I might, we might have to change the titles. I don't want to carry on my Livonia. I've got a DMR on Livonia, right? And I was just trying to join Chernerus official and then realised it would take my character with me. You were fuck that. I'm not doing that. I can't F11 with the DMR neckbeard because I need to finish it off for a potential video. What do I want you to change it to? I honestly don't know it. I'll have to have a look at what's full. I don't really want to do... Al I enjoyed Alteria loads. I'd be happy to do more Alteria, but if I go to it too much... Uh, we'll do Chernerus. I'll just do Chernerus another way. That'll be fine. We'll, we'll keep to Chernerus. Oh, no, not that one. Yeah, I'm going to try and just join another, uh, another uh, nearly said zero there, another Chernerus server, I think, just not an official one, if I can find one. Tappers and it is indeed Thursday. I normally stream Thursdays, do. Any prediction for the Liverpool game? Is, is it away? It's, it's, at, it's at Sparta Prague, isn't it? It's not at Anfield. I can't remember. I think it might be a draw. I don't think he'll risk Mo Salah, even if he's fit. It's Sparta Prague, I think, isn't it, anyway? But yeah, I, I think maybe a draw. And obviously, I hope Liverpool win. They're more than capable of. I should think they'll get through the tie. But, uh, yeah, I, th I think they're going to have a few eyes on Sunday's game, to be honest. Yeah, the Alteria run yesterday was cracking. It was really, really good. Right, we're going to suicide for the correct character. Here's hoping we don't keep getting OBS issues today. Hopefully it actually runs correctly. That would be good, wouldn't it? Okay, then we can suicide there. Count Tocula, that, the, the main song, the main uh, song, the one that played first, that song just now was the acoustic version, which is a lot more recent, but the original song uh, I've been using since about my fifth video, I think, so certainly since 2014. Shit. I'm 38 years old and holding for 14 years more. Never thought I'd spend 15 months watching a streamer, but I've loved every minute of it. Thanks, Paul. I don't normally get that trouble. It actually makes it slightly higher, so let's go with it. Run bike, dude. Thank you very, very much. Cheers for the support, man. Click the respawn button. Run bike, dude. Thank you, Nuba CSJ. Cheers for the support. Thank you, generic benevolent greeting with praise and thanks. Uh, less than three, dude. Thank you. There's burritos. Greedy Gear Giraffe, thank you very much. Corono, Silviu, and Spider, thank you as well. 
What was the OBS issue? I don't think it was an OBS issue. I think it was a. Uh, I think it was an Nvidia graphics card issue. That's so I haven't, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything with OBS. I uh, there's nothing I can tweak. I I restarted, made sure Nvidia was all set correctly, and had another go. I didn't do much because there's not much really I can do. So this is still Berezino, which I'm fine with. I just didn't want to be... Uh, I didn't want to be the uh, the moody uh, the moody waiter. I wanted to be Burnside. Sorry guys, one sec. Did you have your own music before your channel blew up? Well, it's not my music, it's copyright free, but the music that I use, uh, the original version, uh, I've had since long before I was ever a streamer. Yeah, I've been using the same music since 2014, so I didn't even start streaming till 2015. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, but I've been using that music for a long time, but in the last few years, a lot of people have made a lot of different versions from... Uh, Sound Engineer to, to Wilson and Euro Euro, they've all made their own little versions of it. About to go into a job interview. Please wish me luck, Mr. Man. I'm shine, dude. Good luck. I hope you're extra shiny today. Thought I'd focus on getting rid of one. Whoa. Fishnets, for <laughs> oh, that sucks. The pepper got ruined. Uh, hi, Grandpa Apex. How you doing? Uh, FRFC, it was fixed earlier today, so I've not tested it, but I'm not going to test it, to be honest, but there's been, a, there's been a, a hot fix today that fixed two things, and those were the two main bugs. Oh, I, may, maybe I'm a little bit too passive about the whole stuff, but I, I strayed onto Twitter yesterday and saw a few people mithering that it hadn't been fixed yet. I'm like, fuck me dead. Like, people are so impatient, you know, it's, it's like, it's crazy, you know. Why is this bug not fixed yet? All they've got to do is roll back the last patch. Why do people get so annoyed? I don't know. Maybe I'm annoyed in, on... But, like, they, they obviously know about it. It was obviously going to get fixed, but... Oh, it's crazy. Shit in hell. Redline's really wishing Bumshine a happy, uh, <laughs> a happy interview whilst he's banning him. I think you banned the wrong one. Sorry, Bumshine. <laughs> like, why do people get so frustrated with it, though, right? They... Yes, they introduced a patch that introduced a bug. But the idea that they, they will just, like, roll back the patch. How does that fucking help, you know? it's be they, they need to fix the patch because the patch had things that fixed other things in it, right? So it only took a couple of days, you know? It's just... Fuck me dead. Because their base got raided. Well, fair enough. I understand the pain in that, but nonetheless, I understand if you've got a base and you've had your base raided. I understand that, but like, even if your base is raided, rolling back the patch ain't going to change it, is it? It's already happened. Just let them fucking fix it. They're going to fix it. I think that's a fair point about the bases, though. It obviously I don't build bases, so it, it affects me a lot less. Where the fuck are you going? You really gotta turn around again. He don't like it up in me, don't. May the fork be with you. Question, why not build a base? Because I'm streaming base, so right. like... Streaming where you are on the map and spending 20 hours trying to build a base do not go hand in hand, you know, like, it just wouldn't last, would it, you know? 
it, it wouldn't take long for people. Like, even if I just really did well, let's say I played on a random server. Like, I found a random official server with 20 players in it, you know, just 20. It wouldn't take long. Like, once I talk to one or two players in the game, someone recognises my voice, they tell their mates, then they see that I'm on stream, and it takes seconds, minutes. Like, before the base is finished, it'll be raided the next day, you know? Like, if, if, I'm, if I'm lucky enough to finish building half of it before I get killed by someone watching as well, you know? Like, it, when you've got a fairly large audience watching, the chances of you staying in one place and not getting killed are very small. It's, it's really... It's like playing hide-and-seek with a great big sign saying, I'm here. Looks like Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson next. I'll, I, I, I'm a bit sad about it. I, I feel a bit mixed about it. I did just talk about it a bit, but I'm a bit mixed because I, I, I think fair play Mike Tyson, get a bit more money, GG, you know, like, why not? It, like, at least this time it won't get robbed by Don King as well, you know, if GG, he gets a bit more money, fair play, good. But also it does kind of slightly sully his, uh, his, like, uh, legacy. However, let's be fair, towards the end of his actual boxing career, he wasn't quite the same boxer as he was, you know, so it won't really affect his legacy too much. Because people remember him, like, at his peak when he was really young and really hungry. That's how Tyson is remembered, more so than anything else anyway, you know. There was lots of negative with Mike Tyson, but everyone forgets all of that. Oh, look, he said a lot of things that weren't very nice, but, but he was such an amazing boxer. And he seems like such a nice-ish dude now, a very nice dude now, that people are willing to forgive. And fair enough, you know. But anyway, that's the long and the short of it. Equally, I really hope he smashes him. <laughs> I hope Tyson absolutely, like, pulverizes him. That'd be great. I really hope he does. I, I don't know if he will, though. I honestly don't think he will. I hate, I hate saying that, but I think uh, the age, the age will be a huge difference. The fitness levels between between the two will be huge. I think that's the truth, is that everybody's waiting to see one of the Paul brothers get absolutely smashed. But they're very selective of, over who they take, you know, like... They're very selective over who they take for obvious reasons, you know. They don't want a hard fight. They don't. They want fights they can win. They don't want actual boxers. They want former MMA fighters or not really pro boxers. I don't think I'll be paying to watch it, nonetheless. <coughs> well, parkour. Unintended parkour bonus. Keep that. We've got to cook the chicken. We could cook the tomato as well, couldn't we? Cooking a tomato is uh, is more energy than not cooking a tomato. That much I know. It's the second one of those I've seen. We don't need no stickle bricks. It doesn't look like a stem. Lego bricks. Uh, you had to get them. Uh, Captain, good luck with the job interview, dude. Hope it goes okay. Yeah, I, I, without going into too much specifics, what you just said, Redline, a minute ago about 10 people, that's why I was going to venture off towards official Cherneras today. That's what I was planning on doing, but... Uh, seemed a bit harder than I, I expected. I could have gone on to another Steam account, I suppose. Tyson still looked pretty deadly against Roy Jones, but he was also fighting in a has-been Roy Jones, wasn't he? You know, I know Roy Jones had retired more recently, I think, a couple of years before, maybe, from memory, I don't know, but... Uh, like, clearly both Roy Jones and Tyson, at any kind of level, are way better than uh, Jake Paul. However, Jake Paul is 20 years younger, you <laughs> know, plus. 
that matters a huge amount, I think. That's the trouble. I think the age and the fitness level. And he really is fit as well. And he's not that bad. He ain't that bad. He really ain't as bad as people make out. He just ain't ever going to be a champion or anything. He's still better than your average person. Uh, I don't know. I, I just think it'll be a bit. It'll be another one of those where they tit about for six, seven, eight rounds, and then it's over. I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to see Tyson go in like an absolute steamroller and and Muller him. That would be amazing. There was a scorpion with suppressor on the first floor of the, the police. Was there? Linus. Well, GG. I didn't see it. I do miss the loot these days. Divers, dude. Thank you very much for the 22 months. This is the first floor. Unless you're calling the ground floor the first floor. Because this is actually the first floor. We haven't had this conversation for at least a year. There is a mag there. Well, well spotted. I really didn't see that. Is this an official server or private? Uh, yes. Much love, less than three. Uh, we've had this conversation a lot of times, Hero, so I'll keep it sit, keep it straightforward. In the UK, where the English language was invented, <laughs> we have ground floor, then first floor. It's not zero, although when you're counting. That's how counting works, Less right? Three. Uh, like when you have uh, when you w w when you go up one, you go up one. That's one. You don't you don't get one thing in your hand and it's two, do you? You know, like I don't know. Like you have no apples in your hand and then you pick up an apple. You've got one apple. You, you're standing on the ground and then you go up one set of stairs. You're on the first floor. That's how counting works, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I understand it's different in different countries. But in the UK, you're on the ground floor and you go up one flight of stairs, that's the first floor. And a lot of other places are similar too. Some are not, some are, but like I think a lot of Europe do it that way. Let's start. Let's start the uh, loading up process. Yeah, red line. It's the way you're used to it, but it's still wrong. Didn't need that map. No, I don't need no stinking map, Johnny. Certainly not on Chernerus anyway, dude. No. I know Chernerus like like uh, there isn't much in the world that I know better than Chernerus, and I know that might sound. That's not a boast. It's just a sad indictment of how many hours I've got in DayZ, right? It's not like, oh, aren't I big and clever? It's not. But I know Chernerus better than I know my hometown. I know Chernerus better than I know my sock drawer. <clears throat> because I've spent far too much sad and lonely hours chunnering on about first floors and ground floors. So yeah, if you go in a lift in the UK or an elevator in in the in the America lands, Cheers. when you're in when you go in, you walk into a hotel. You're in the lobby. It might be called L for lobby, or it'll probably be called G for ground. And then the the basement floor might if there's sometimes you get like two basement floors. Like the the, the below one is the car park, so it might be minus one and minus two, or it might be basement and car park. It might be, but anyway. You get ground or lobby, and then up one, first floor. They, number one is the next floor. That's how it works. Because that is the correct way. And once again, 
I'll use the self-righteous condescending. We've been using it that way since before America existed, so it must be correct. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You, if you upstarts want to come along and, and win independence and be all big and clever with your massive economy and all your freedoms, fantastic. But let us at least keep the fact that we came up with the floor system first. Come on. And let us at least keep that. Come on, you've got everything else. The whole world's in your fucking pocket. All we want is the ability to be correct on the floor. Come on. Give us fucking something, you fucking greedy bastards. <laughs> Tobacco! <laughs> uh, Novis, thank you very much for the 22 months. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. I quite like that these spawn with bullets. I think it's like, it's only one bullet, but it's a nice... It's a nice little touch, it is. them up. Shitters. It's not the way out. Ground floor, butter side down toast, Yorkshire gold, football, <laughs> all the things you put up with L U L. Sounds like the start of uh, sounds like the start of train spotting. Except it's the uh, it's train spotting two, the middle life Twitch streamer edition. Never mind choose life. Choose choose butter actually hitting your tongue. Choose, choose living on the first floor, and only, you know, only going up one flight of stairs. Uh, cheers for the support, Angry Chair. Thank you very much, Novis. Thank you as well. I don't know why we're still talking about it, because honestly, genuinely, I don't care, but let me carry on pretending like I care just for the sake of the convo, right? When you're just standing on the ground, you're not on one. You're not on one, are you? You're just on the ground. You're not on one. You've not gone up one. You're just on... You're on the ground. You're just standing. You're not... You're, you, you're so self-assured, right? That you, you th Well, we, we, we must one up everywhere else on the planet. We're already on one. It's not the first floor, it's just the floor! It's the fucking floor! There's no first floor, it's the floor, ground! What, what did they call it in America land? Obviously, serious thing, but it was called ground zero. They didn't call it ground one, did they? I wonder why that is. It's the fucking ground! There's only fucking one! It's, it, there isn't enough, you can't be on the first ground. It's the fucking floor! The floor, not first floor, the floor. There's only one. The floor. Fuck me dead. <laughs> that rant was for effect, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Ground one. <laughs> Let's have the knee pads. I might need, no, need those knee pads when I'm apologising for my Ground Zero reference later. That rant should be a YouTube short. It shouldn't because it winds up too many, too many people. It winds up too many people because obviously in rant, even now some people aren't going to realise that I'm kind of joking, right? There's an element of truth, like many jokes. There's an element of truth in it, but. I generally don't wake up of a morning and give a shit about these things, of course, right? But, like, as with, like, I don't want to say I'm a comedian, because uh, I don't think I am, but as with a comedian, when they're doing a stand-up, you obviously deliver, you deliver what you're doing as a slightly over-exaggerated way, because it works, like, likewise as a streamer, you know, you, 
it doesn't really work if you just deliver everything as well. I actually think that if you're going to stand on the ground, then it's zero. It's not one, it's zero. It doesn't really work the same, you know. It doesn't have the same effect, you know. It's Believe it or not, this is meant to be entertainment, you know. <laughs> I know it's it loosely, loosely could be regarded as such by some a small amount of people, but... Yeah, but in YouTube bite-sized form, some people don't fully understand that, and then... As much as a lot of people might find it a laugh, I, I have to read the replies. So I have to read the replies, and, and the replies make, make my eyes want to bleed. And my brain want to not exist anymore. And so, yeah, no, no YouTube shorts of rants about flaws and comparisons. It's not worth it. Do 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 I wouldn't be averse to going to Canada, but it's not, it, it probably fits in the same sort of category as say Australia, well probably behind Australia and New Zealand because they seem like kind of cool places in terms of uh, temperature and stuff, but like there's so many places in the world and so, so little time for me, so I suspect my chances of going to Canada ever are probably somewhat remote if I'm honest. Lolo, don't big him up. He can't even say the word twat correctly. He never make it. He never make it. <laughs> if uh, if H two stage max. Oh my god. H2 stage, if you make it back in, try to change the subject chart slightly and not go on about it anymore. When you get back in, if you're able to contain your excitement about constantly talking about the same subject, can you let us know where you're from? Uh, I'd be interested to know what country you're from, dude, if that's okay with you. Rather than carrying on down the way you've been going, I've seen a couple of your messages. Uh, where are you from, dude? I'd be, I'm just interested. That would be a cool way of changing the... the the dynamic of what you're saying a little bit. Not taking the MK2. Where was it? I was too busy reading the reading the chat. Honest, I was. It's not everyone else's fault. It's just uh, H2s. <laughs> in the store. Well, it's in one of those metal shops. In the green shop, this one. Okay, I didn't see it. I kind of backed in. It probably showed on my inventory as well, and I didn't see it. Well spotted. We'll have that. Found it all on my lonesome, I did. I'm probably going to miss his reply. H2 stage, you're not timed out now. So how does that work with a normal house? Ground floor. First floor. It's, it's the same. If you have a basement, you have a basement. That's how numbers work. Shadow ban him easy now, Sal. No tweet today. I didn't tweet yesterday either, Jeffro. I, uh, I, I struggled so much to think of something to write on Tuesday. I, I thought that was my best work this week, so I've just not bothered tweeting about going live. I should tweet that you're sorry for what you've done to your mods. I've not done anything to you. You're only doing half a job. If I was going to tweet them, uh, uh, if I was going to tweet anything, I'd, I'd tweet a great big thank you to people like Pinkster. That's what I'd do. 
Rather than make it a neg, I'd make it a pause, dude. He has got super hearing sour sweet. He can hear suppressors at 600 miles. He can hear an MK2 in Livonia when he's on Alteria, he can. <laughs> Sweden. Okay. Very nice, too. Where were the Vikings from? That's a genuine question. I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying the Vikings were from Sweden, but where were the Vikings from? Minnesota. <laughs> no, that's the Minnesota Midgets. Red Line's a fan. So we're seeing a lot of different answers about where the Vikings from. I've always thought they were they were kind of primarily Scandinavian. Uh, which for me would be Norway and Sweden, probably Finland, but I don't know exactly where they're from. I just, yeah, I like the reality is through history, not many nations have got a uh, their hand. Not many nations have got their hands clean. And certainly, the UK has not. <laughs> Probably the worst of all, I, w I would suggest. But nonetheless, like, uh, it, it's easy to to judge when you you're living in a country. But if you go back far enough, you can probably look in the mirror and realise that your own country was just as bad. Chances are. Vikings came from the first floor on the, or the ground floor. The the bison bills. I oh, I see. The Buffalo Bobcats have got themselves a new a new quarterback, have they? Ooh. Exactly my point, crowd control. That's exactly my point. But it, it, it's tough to blame current citizens for the past. I completely agree. But you could say that about people like anybody living in America or Australia, you know. If you're living in America or Australia, obviously those countries were colonised at some point, but they were colonised by other countries moving to them. So the people that live there hundreds of years later, if anything, it's it's the, the orig originating countries' fault, not... Like, that's the point, you know, like, lots of people came over from uh, Viking land, <laughs> from Valhalla, and did an awful lot of stuff in the UK years and years ago, but no one's blaming anybody from those places now, are they? It's utterly pointless, it's stupid, it's, you can't do that, can you? That, that's kind of exactly what I'm trying to get to, you know, like, you can't blame current citizens for things from hundreds of years ago, because if you do, there's literally next to nobody uh, that's not to blame. Other than very, very harshly treated people from a long time ago. Hey Paul, haven't been able to watch much lately, but dropped in to resub. Love you, bye. Uh, pristine. All the pristines. We invaded you mofos back in 793. Keeping it old school. Good luck on the run today, gun by set. I see that, uh, as ever, nobody's capable of having a vaguely sensible conversation. What a surprise. It's time to start running! Uh... Oh, 
Uh, Ripley's. I'm, I'm. Hopefully everything goes as well as it possibly can with your mum, dude. Uh, I really, yeah. I, I done quite a lot of thinking about my dad Taking the last care of my mum with dementia month to six weeks. Same kind of subject. Absolutely essential to my sanity. Pretty sure my mum likes you more than me at this point. Uh, Keep running. Cheers for the support, dude. Really, really appreciate it, and all the best with everything. Hope it goes really, really well, dude. Thank you. Actually, let's do that. Uh, Ripley's, thank you very much, and ho hopefully it goes as well as it possibly can do. Good luck. Hope, hope, hopefully, oh, hopefully you get hey you. many good Keep times running. to come. Uh, yeah, thank you for the thirty-two. Uh, put that there. And uh, Shady Variable, thank you for the prime. Uncle Uncle Gator, Uncle Gator, uh, cheers for the support, dude. Eganator uh, and Marlins, cheers for the resubs. opened up the can with my knife and I've got a can opener. Fuck me, that's a criminal offence, that is. What made me choose my channel name? Uh, here's the very quick version. So, uh, I was thinking about doing YouTube and, well, I was kind of had it half in mind that I might edit one day. And then, some random day, I watched the first Hunger Games and I thought, my word, this is a good film. I quite like this. It's a bit like Daisy, the Hunger Games. Tell you what, though, it, it's also a little bit like uh, it's a little bit like The Running Man and other Stephen King things. It kind of feels a little bit dystopian, futuresque, and a little bit similar to things I've seen elsewhere. So I goes online, I goes online, and I has a little look, and I search Stephen King in the Hunger Games, and I see uh, I see an interview with Stephen King where he's talking about how he feels that the Hunger Games had plagiarized him and some of the things he'd written, such as The Running Man. I thought that's interesting. And the very very next day. I wanted to make a YouTube channel. I was like, well, the Hunger Games is a lot like Daisy. Oh, fuck that right up. Katniss never cooked her chicken, she didn't. Fuck me dead. Anyway, uh, the very next day, I thought I was going to start a YouTube channel, and I fancied editing and having a bit of a try. Uh, and I wanted to call myself something like the Hunger Games, and then I thought, well, that doesn't really work. It's a little bit young. Like, I don't think I I'm approaching 38. Like, it's on the horizon. At some point, I'm going to be a 38-year-old doing this stuff. I can't really call myself anything to do with Hunger Games. It's a little bit young. It's a little bit of the now. Whereas The Running Man, that's from fucking 80s, you know? That That's definitely more my kind of era. So I just called it The Running Man and stuck a Z on the end. I figured if I didn't put the Z on the end, so The Running Man, right? If you go to Google and you search The Running Man, you're obviously going to get the film. And if you don't get the film, you're going to get the book. And if you don't get the book, you're going to get the dance. None of which is going to find me. But nobody's going to search for the running man with a Z on the end. The running man's, right? Or the running man Z, if you really want to be pedantic, right? But nonetheless. So the Z was purely thinking, well, hopefully at some point people might Google search my name. There won't be anyone else with that. That'll work. And so that's what I did. So that was the short version that turned into the long version, but there we are. Is it a good movie? Yes, it fucking is, Burr winning. You take that back. I want my fucking mouse map back, and that's that. The, the Running Man film is a, is a cheesy 80s action marvel. And that's that. And you can take that to the bank, as well as you can take... There's a gawky bastard on me! <laughs> Get your ass to Mars. That's definitely uh, Total Recall. 
They are on about remaking The Running Man, yeah, but making it more in line with the book, because Stephen King didn't really like the film, believe it or not. He was from the Burr winning school of uh, thought, I believe. Uh, Chino, thank you for the for the follow on you choose, dude. A Christmas tree, yeah. Some of the one-liners could could be brushed up a little bit, maybe, for the modern world. I think "Hey Christmas tree, Hey light bulb" wasn't the finest uh, dialogue in the film. I'm not going to lie. Am I still streaming on YouTube as well? Yup. Always scares me when you alt tab. Yeah. Facility, I, I we were just talking about it. In a nutshell, I'm conflicted. I, I, so we, this is the third time, but I think it, it's news to me. I found out from the YouTube chat. I've not. I've had my head in the clouds this morning. I've, I've been up. We've been me and the, me and the power. missus have been and walked the dog. Been out most of the morning. Like just got back and started streaming after lunch, kind of thing, you know. So. I didn't know about it. It's news to me. I Partly I feel, well done Tyson, earn the money. Partly I feel, my fuck, I hope he sparks him, knock, knocks him spark out. And then beyond that, I think like most of the other fights that happen like this, I, I really don't think I can be bothered to watch it. And it's a turgid dross. You know, like, like, it's just, it's a bit, Jake Paul, it, this is a bad analogy, but it's it's kind of true. He's becoming, in boxing terms, a bit like the bully at school that only picks on the kids that he knows he can beat, you know, or the knows that knows that he, he's that un like the bullies only pick on you when you're on your own. If you're with a couple of mates, you don't get picked on, right? When you're at school, the bullies only pick on easy targets. And Jake Paul knows he's not a boxer, so he's only picking the the ones that he's picking grapplers that have retired. Boxers that are no good and really big names that have been retired for fucking 20 years, you know, it, it's... <sighs> I, I still don't dislike the Pauls in boxing as much, or Jake Paul, as much as maybe some do, because I still think, broadly speaking, it's not a bad thing. In that the kind of people that have been watching him are now also watching other things. And it's bringing more eyes to the sport. And I quite enjoy boxing. I enjoy it as a sport. I, I, certainly the primetime fights. I'm going to watch the... It's another It's another similar thing. But I'm going to watch the Nganu joshua fight on Friday. I'm very much looking forward to a couple of the undercard fights. Particularly Zhang versus Parker. I think that's going to be great. But uh, nonetheless. The polls have been kind of okay for sport. Broadly speaking. But it is like a fucking exhibition roadshow of nonsense. You know like... It, like it's exactly like that analogy and, and they're, they're picking they're being they're not being matched with fighters so that one day they can challenge for a title they're just going from one e exhibition to another exhibition until the money train runs out it's just frustrating it's frustrating to say the least uh I'm going to struggle here. Have I got a... Oh, I have got a belt. Well done. I'd, I, well, I knew there was a reason why I streamed. It was for... The main reason I stream is for the canteen on the belt meta. Because I never remember, do I? I never remember. Belts are shit, aren't they? Except for when they're not. They're not fixed fights. They're just... They're just friendlies, you know? It's not a fixed fight. If it was fixed, then... Uh, then... Uh, Jake Paul wouldn't have lost to to Tommy Fury. It it does feel a bit stinky the Fury versus Ngannou fight, and I I'm a massive Fury fan, but 
I know the stats, the bare stats, show that Tyson Fury landed more punches, but the actual good punches were landed by Ngannou. I, I felt like Ngannou deserved to win that fight. But when it's going down to refs, they can score it different ways. They can score it by connecting punches rather than meaningful punches. The meaningful work came from Ngannou, but maybe uh, Fury did more pouring and that was enough. But nonetheless, there's enough in that one for it to be dubious, but I feel Ngannou won. But most of the other ones with, with the Paul Brothers and whatnot and KSI, but they're not fixed. They're rigged from the start. They're not rigged for an outcome, but they're picking people that, that make it make make it a fair matchup. I think the Fury uh I the Fury outcome was uh it wasn't a huge surprise. It was, it was close, that fight. And plenty of fights go the way of a champion all the time. Never mind Fury versus Ngannou. It's always been that way, you know. If it's a really close fight, it usually goes to the person that's a champion or the person that's at home or whatever. It, it usually does. That's the way it normally is. And that, that's maybe the fact that you've got human refs. However, if in that particular fight there'd have been like a bot ref, you know, somebody, uh, like if they were using bare stats, bare stats in it, bruv. If they were using stats from like a computer that was logging the fight, Fury would have won as well, you know, so it didn't really change the outcome. Buzz Logics, thank you for the prime. Uh, Sarah Lou, thank you very much for the support as well. More prime power, more power. <laughs> Cheers for the support, thank you. Did I get three or eight rounds? I only got one. Where's the Longhorn? It doesn't go. It doesn't go because it takes up five slots and I only made floor four. Go back and get it. Is it this one? Oh, that was the next one. I think my head torch is on. I, I, I really want to see uh, see Jake Paul fight a proper boxer. Tommy Fury is not a proper boxer. He's a way better boxer than I'll ever be. You know, I couldn't stand in the ring. You know, it's e it's easy to sit here as a as an armchair fan and say this stuff, you know, I wouldn't want to go into a ring with Tommy Fury, he'd fucking wipe the floor with me, you know, but I'm also not selling myself as a professional boxer either, am I, you know, <laughs> but yeah, he's not one either, he's very lucky to have made the money he's made. I think the Longhorn Scope is not in the best of condition, no, oh god. Hunting scope pristine, pristine, bye bye bye. We're doing well here, aren't we? We've got the long horny, long horny, albeit with a bad scope. We've got a good hunting scope. Let's start eating the foods. We'll eat. We'll start with this shit. The Paul brothers have done an awful lot of not so great things going back a long time. A particular low light for me being that stuff in Japan and the forest. That was particularly poor. They've done all sorts of things with uh, like pushing different things to their audience, like selling on things as well, and uh, like NFT scams and whatnot that they've then apologised for. I believe they've been trying to refund and things and trying to do the right thing in places, but nonetheless, they've done some dodgy shit. Uh, do I want that? Might drop the MP5.
wasn't there another Longhorn scope? Maybe. It doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm honestly, I, if I'm reliant on that Longhorn for anything, I'll be disappointed. Look at my outfit. That's the main thing. We've got we've got the best the best hunting outfit. Take my prize. After I eventually found the option to use it, as it's now hidden away. I don't understand it, right? I had, I had a message on on I had a whisper yesterday saying I can't find the prime button. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got to give one to one tuition on it now, but I don't. So I I went to go and try and find where the prime button is, and on PC for me it's where it always was. I went. I just went to a random channel. I I went to subscribe, and then it had a little tick box that says use your prime. But that's on PC, you know, maybe on the mobile app, maybe on the mobile or whatever it's changed. I don't know. It's the same as it was for me. It never not moved for me, it hasn't. Where am I going at the moment? Lukey, I'm just doing a, uh, like, a hunting rifle uh, run, so... I'm heading towards Black Mountain Castle. I've done the summer camp. I've got a box of bullets. I've got a 308, so... I'm probably going to go to Black Mountain. Uh, sorry, Black Mountain Castle. But at the moment, I'm doing a, a little loop. The one thing I'm going to struggle with is a vest, probably like a stab vest or a plate carrier or whatever. But uh, I'm doing a little loop round trying to find a blaze or a tundra, basically right now. I'll settle for a savannah if I have to. Why do you like the plain brown hunter outfit? I like the camo hunting gear. I don't like the plain brown. I like this one. I just hit resub on PC and hit use prime. It's the click box on the top. Easy. Uh, I, I just hit the resub on PC and use prime. It's the click box. Yeah, that's that's the same for me as well. Same as that. Coastal Zombie, thank you very much for the support. Cabos, thank you again. Uh, well, thank you for the first time. CJS Junior, thank you for buying the merch. That's very, very kind. I feel a press vest at the, at the police convoy after the military bit. Ooh, I like the sound of that. You can use Prime every month, Salskin. You just have to use it manually. You can't leave it to auto-renew. Yeah, I like the green hunting stuff. It's kind of quite dark. I don't think it... If you're wearing... My personal view, and, and different people will have different views, but... My personal view is if you're wearing fairly dark clothes, whether it be brown or green or black or camo, they all work really, really well. And most of the time it makes not a lot, a lot, hardly any difference really, as long as you're in darker clothes. Green, brown, black, even really dark blue like navy blue, they're all pretty good. Tundra, there's not much chance. See, I'm, I'm coming specifically to this house now. Because I've found uh, rifles in this house before as well. So we'll have a quick look here. Wilcox, thank you for the uh, converted sub. Dellis, thank you for the Prime as well. Cheers for using your Prime on my channel. Oh, well, I, I see you're offering protection in some kind of racket now, Redline, but who, who's offering you protection, right? You just be careful. You just be careful. <laughs> you, might, you, might, you might end up only with mod powers on YouTube at this rate. What the fuck was that? That must have been the gas attack, right? But I never heard it. take care of him. <laughs> I never heard it la take off, sorry. See, that Longhorn is even more surplus to requirements now. I'm going to try and find Upper Dubrovka because there is a uh, convoy that can spawn on the road, which should be this way somewhere. We might as well go and try and find it. Kuronis has had gas attacks as long as it's, well, yeah, a couple of years, I think. Maybe 18 months. Do I play guitar? No. It's it's the sausage fingers. 
No, I, I, I'd like to play the guitar, but I, I don't have the uh, ability to learn anything that I find frustrating. So, in pretty much anything, really. THKU for all you do, Brit. Yeah, I know, if you're a stool, I'll unpack them in a minute, probably. I think this is the road we need to be on coming up, maybe. It looks like a road. It's not a road. I don't have Prince Charles fingers, no. The pipe? Well, oh, dude, if you've got a four-year-old that's interested in the guitar, that's a very cool thing. WRC, if you roll back about 15 minutes, we just talked about it at great length for the third time. <laughs> uh, so we've covered it three times today, but uh, I hope Tyson smashes him is the very short version. And that's very short, but yeah. I think this road can spawn a convoy. I, I've never seen the convoy along here, but you never know. Maybe today will be the day. Can anyone recommend a server? Sketchinator, what do you like? If you like heavily modded Aftermath, if you like lightly modded, Zero's Baggy, Day One, Karma Crew, Daisy Underground. Can't learn anything frustrating and plays Daisy. Daisy's not frustrating. It's beautiful in every way. There's a tent there, look. What might we find? What's in the tent? What's in the bag, Angelos? Ookla, I've tried in tens uh, when it was on a winter server a while back. I, I, I'm not really a huge fan. I think I get why people like it, but I don't like the medical side of those type of servers where you you get hit by a zombie once and then you get about 17 different symbols here and need 67 different pills. I, I know that's an exaggeration, but that's how it feels like. I just don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy that at all. It's like hardcore survival in that way is why lots of people are playing the game and fair enough. But I'm not, I, I really enjoy those survival moments that crop up. Like when you get like you, you start running out of food and then you get attacked by wolves and you only had a melee weapon and then you're, you're red health and then you start going hungry and you're half a mile from the nearest town and you're a bit in the shit and then you I know you find a chicken and you cook it on a stick in the middle of a field and somehow you survive you know those kind of moments are epic but when you start in Berezino and a single zombie wipe means that you're going to die in 15 minutes I don't find that particularly fun I, I find it a bit not for me Uh, Leban, thank you very much for the follow. Booy, uh, Booya, thank you for the 23. Cheers for the support, dude. What's in the box? <laughs> Brad Pitt's crying face. So you're thinking of uh, an amazing film, and I'm think thinking of the, the not-so-good years of shooting stars, which is a reference not for everyone. Angelos Epithemu was the replacement for George Dawes on Shooting Stars. No worries, Ukla. TRMZG Heart. He's a greasy lover. That was uh, that was Mark Lamar, wasn't it? What does Mark Lamar do now? He was like, he was on Buzzcocks and he was on Shooting Stars and he must he was doing pretty well on the telly. I think he does radio, doesn't he? But I, I think he by choice doesn't do telly anymore. I think. The inventory does look fairly tidy, but the day is still young.
He's a baby. <laughs> Shooting Stars was great for a while. It, it probably went on too long that show. I, I, I've got a big. I'm a big fan of uh, Vic and Bob from Shooting Stars and just before. Uh, I really like the fishing show that uh, White House and Mortimer do. Uh, I really like Bob Mortimer in particular. I think he's I think just kind of naturally in, like funny. I, even as an older man, like doing a fishing show, I still enjoy the show, right? But nonetheless, uh, shooting stars probably did go on a bit. Lamar, Mark Lamar did start on the word, yeah. But I, I, I probably remember him more. I didn't really like the word because you, when you watched the word, you had to see Terry Christensen on your on your TV screen, and that was enough to make me want to smash it. Uh, Whereas Buzzcocks and uh, and Shooting Stars didn't make me want to throw myself and the telly out the window. Do I have IBS? I know it's hella off topic, but I kind of remember you saying you do. No, I don't, no. I don't have IBS, no. Uh, thankfully, I, I only have issues with the gluten. So I, I'm not so bad with most things, just with the gluten things. Oh, we're not doing very well here. No, no rifle so far. There's an F1 RK coming to Boston. There are other locations in London. Uh, do you think it's closer to as good as the one you did? There's an F1 arcade. I've no idea, dude. I've no idea. I, th I think it would be fun to do, dude. Even if it's not, you know, even if it's not quite the same, I still think it would be fun. Let's just have a look. Nah. Just not right. I'm not changing. I like my drip. Uh, Jojo, thank you for the 35 months. Uh, Booyah, thanks again. Do you have gout? I heard you had gout. Devon. I don't know how you heard that, dude. These rumblings, they start from somewhere, don't they? I can confirm, after going through lots of gout tests in my own mind, that I definitely don't have gout. Because one night I woke up and my toe hurt. <laughs> I, I can confirm that I do not have gout <laughs> because I had pain in my toe once. <laughs> What's my favourite camo in Unmodded DayZ? I really like this particular outfit. I really like it. Not because of the camo, I just like it. I would change the shirt. I changed the top for the khaki, or the darker, not the olive, but the darker green M65 or field jacket or whatever it's called. I'm quite the fan of the Khaki M65. I like the first show when it came out, Mardok, yeah. That's partly why I like uh, I like the fishing show. Like, I think it works because the people that were kind of just starting, like people my age, right? When Shooting Stars and the Fast Show were around, uh, when those shows were big, I was kind of doing A-levels or just starting work and so now they're doing a fishing show for kind of middle-aged lazy people and they're the people that they were making the shows for when they were <laughs> like I, they're, they've st tailored their show now to the same audience that they were used to be making their their, their younger stuff for right uh, but yeah I, I, I like the fast show loads again it probably hasn't aged brilliantly well but I loved it at the time my favorite character I, I didn't really like Bob Fleming but I really liked when uh, Paul Whitehouse was on it as the farmer that just said arse. It was such a stupid thing. I need three knives. How, how on earth can I possibly make do without three pristine hunting knives? The parole knives? board has convened and they have told me I have to keep subbing. TRMZ love. Zagorki, 10-4. Uh, why am I feeling that like subbing in this stream is a bit like Red trying to get parole into the Shawshank Redemption all of a sudden? So go on, Sonny, stamp your little form. <laughs> Why are elephants wrinkly? Because you can't iron them. Fair enough. You could steam them. You could steam them. Why can't you steam them? Hey, 
Cambodia, well, comedy is very subjective, you know, so, like, uh, for whatever type of comedy it is, there's always, there's always different types that, like, some people even like Michael McIntyre, for example. find when your guns show shit so shit you don't even have to move it you know you know you would you've made a big upgrade I do have the poo scope as well but it's a bit damaged where is it I find it annoying that the damage scope doesn't look any less damaged than the badly damaged scope it, it frustrates me so For all the entertainment, Dino Dance. M65, no thanks. I'm not even going to. Sorry, not M65, MP5. I'm not even going to bother with the bullet out of that. I can't be fooked. Slow. It was fine. Just got back from a day's fishing. Keep running, man. Andrew Schultz is the most insincere person out there. Is it bad that I don't know who Andrew Schultz is? Hope he's not a politician. <laughs> I feel like he's probably an actor or something, but I don't know who he is. So I've read that out. Oh, he's an American comedian and actor. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't even know who he is. So he's, he's maybe that's just because of me, or maybe he's not uh, across the pond so well. Today and today only, we're serving a free buffet in the sports bar, but only for people that are placing bets, eh? Just like if you sit in Vegas feeding the fruit machines all day, they keep giving you free drinks. Uh, David Clark, just got back from a day's fishing. Keep running, mans. Dude, I hope you, hope you did well. Don't tip me for this, right? But at me in the YouTube chat and I'll try and catch it. How did it go? What did you catch? What, 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 was, what, was, the, uh, what was the outcome? I feel like this time of year you were probably pike fishing if you're in the UK, but you let me know. It's no, maybe it's it's a bit later, isn't it? We're into March. I, there's lots of other type of fishing you can do now, but objectively, you can't call Andrew Schultz a bad comedian. You can't really judge a comedian objectively. I guess maybe you can. Into it depends. With with anything like that, it's subjective, you know what you find funny or what you find nice in terms of music you can't objectify art or stand-up comedy or music I don't think it's objective otherwise it just becomes a popularity contest and that's kind of fatuous I think right I think it's it's really much better to talk about what you what you like and what you don't like personally because that's what it is it's a subjective opinion Did you see the finger click and Garnu did to Fury? No. I saw them doing a little bit of a to and fro and I, I feel and Garnu won that. Like I saw a little bit of a clip, it was on the news from a pes press conference and Fury was dr tried to give it the big one like he does and Ngarnu sitting there looking like bigger than him and stronger than him and scarier than him basically went, the only reason that you're safe is the rules of boxing. Pretty much if that was his reply. If me and you fought anywhere where there was no rules of boxing, I'd crush you. And the only person that maybe half didn't believe it in the room was Tyson Fury. Everyone else knew it. Everyone else knew it was right. 
You know, like, <laughs> like, but that's fine because Fury's a boxer. He's not a, uh, he's not an MMAist. You know. If a crowd of people laugh, he is objectively look good. That's just not true, Craig. That's not. That's not. Ha that's confirmation bias, dude. If a crowd of people that have paid to see him laugh then that doesn't make him good. That means that the crowd of people that queued up to see him like him already, dude. That's ridiculous. That's like saying, I don't know, if I tweet a question to my own audience, they'll probably agree with me, so that's a fair assessment of the world, you know? That's confirmation bias, dude. That's not how objectivity works, dude, is it? You know, if a load of people that are watching football say that football is good, it doesn't mean that football is objectively good. They already like fucking football, dude. Like, of, of course that's not how objectivity works. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. Even even if you go to a comedy show or a comedy club that you were going to see a random comedian, you're going for a night out, you want to be entertained, you're probably having drinks. Unless a comedian stinks up the place, most people are going to laugh anyway. You know, You have to be really bad not to get some laughs because people have gone for a good time. Surely it's objective if the person draws a crowd at all. Well, no. Like, <laughs> because again, it's a subjective thing, isn't it? Right, surely. Like, wh whoever makes the best music doesn't have to be the one that sold the most records. That's not how the world works, is it? It's very personal. Like, art is very personal, literature is very personal, music is, comedy can be, you know. There is no objectivity in it. Unless you just want to go, who sold the most records this year? That means they're the best. End of story, you know? Like, then everybody just listen to them and nobody have an opinion. But nonetheless, I mean, obviously you can talk about popularity and success, and people being a success means they must have uh, talent, or they must be popular, or they must have something that people find appealing of course right that, that doesn't mean that they're not good at what they do but that, that's you can't you can't be objective if you're turning up paying money as a fan can you you know there's still even if that somebody's selling out a stadium there's still many more people not in that stadium that don't like that comedian <laughs> you know that's just the truth that's not how objectivity works you know there might be 30,000 people in a stadium watching someone, but there's there's 8 billion people not there. You know, <laughs> that that's not how it works. They're all science, are they, Harley? <laughs> Like, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the art of folding <laughs> cloths with people still in them. Just to just to carry on, I know I know people really love it when I carry on a subject a bit further than I need to, but let me do it again anyway. I would never say personally that I'm a better streamer than somebody else because I get more viewers than somebody else. Because that is not how it works. I've been doing it longer. Maybe I've been afforded better opportunities. Maybe my voice is more naturally appealing. Maybe I have an accent that suits or whatever. There's there's lots of reasons, but I would never personally say that my view, my my viewers or my viewership counts, makes me a better streamer than somebody else, because I don't think that's true. Somebody else might have started six months ago, or two months ago, or three years ago, whereas I started ten years ago. You know, like popularity doesn't doesn't mean too much. Like you, you just—it's more about taste. If popularity was all that mattered, there wouldn't be any award shows, would there? Like we wouldn't need to have an award show. We could just give it to the best-selling Disney or Marvel film every year. You know? The best actor must be the one from the most popular Marvel film that year. You know, like, that, that's how it would be, wouldn't it? It would just go to who put the most bums on seats. Okay, then 
in that case, Iron Man won it for two years, and then somebody else won it for two years, and then it was Space Wars and whatever, you know? That would be really dull, wouldn't it, you know? Because that's what gets the most bums on seats isn't necessarily the best film. I don't think we're going to find a gun here. I can have another drink. I can actually fill up my canteen as well. Could we try and do a gas run today? I don't really want to try and collect NBC loot, but I've just found some boots, and so maybe we'll do it. I didn't even look in Berezino where we spawned, so I'm probably not... I've not been to the northeast airfield. I've not actually tried whatsoever to get the gas stuff, but now I've found one pair of boots. Maybe we'll change tact. <laughs> maybe we'll change back tact. We'll go back to the northeast airfield. I don't know. Maybe we will, I don't know. Bow winning. Uh, thank you very much for gifting Armorant the sub. Blimey, second month. 24 month winning. I, I, know, I know she's a huge fan and all, so thank you. I've had to block her on the phone. She won't get off my phone, she won't. The videos. <laughs> That's obviously complete nonsense, by the way. Disclaimer, some of what I just said wasn't true. <laughs> uh, Mickwell, thank you very much for the support. Burr winning, thank you very much. Regan, Pat Polo, thank you very much too. Steely Missile, Dan, David Clark, uh, thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Stop paying for our OnlyFans then. I've never been to an OnlyFans. I feel like I'm missing out. Everything you say is true. Surely? Laughing face. Well, everything I say is my opinion. It doesn't make it true. But it's my truth and I'm entitled to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how facts are born these days, dude. <laughs> Black Widow, thank you very much for the support, dude. <laughs> I did struggle to pass up the fourth night. night super joint. If it had been pristine and a hunting knife, I would have had it. I would have put it in my collection. I'll DM you a sample, and if you like it, you can sub to my OnlyFans. Uh, it's okay. I don't want a sample. I, don't, I'm, I worry. <laughs> Fresh, it's much much faster to drink from the bottle. You, you get full way quicker. If you're drinking with your hands at the well, it's a much slower process. So, yeah, I would be inclined to... Uh, if you've got a bottle or a canteen, always, always use it. Do, 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 do. We don't actually need that. I've got the head torch. Regan, thank you for gifting Lando Norris the sub. I appreciate that. Lando. Dude, I've, I've ridden once in an F1, F1 sim, and of the eight random people who had never driven a car before, I was the second quickest. I reckon me and you could make a sim team together. Let's do it. I reckon we can do it. We, we, can, we can make it. Cheers for the support, Regan. Thank you. So we've had Armoranth and Lando Norris. Can you repair a canteen? I don't know. I wouldn't bother. You can repair some random stuff now. Like, for example, repairing a cooking pot you can do with a blowtorch. And there is actually a reason to do that, because you can use them for cooking, you know. So I don't think you can repair a canteen. Maybe the devs could add a canteen repair kit that specifically fixes canteens and canteens only. Might be able to teach Lando a thing or two, maybe. Can you tune a fish? 
No, but it comes in the wrong can. Does epoxy actually fix a canteen? Uh, here's the thing, right? Like, I, I, I saw the I saw the snidey comment, Peaky Bucker. Like, I would never, ever, in a million years, waste a single shred of an epoxy putty fixing a canteen. That would uh, that would just be madness. Fixing an epoxy putty to to, sorry, wasting an epoxy putty to fix a canteen, would be like lighting your cigar with a fifty dollar note or a hundred dollar note. Sorry, there isn't a fifty, maybe I don't remember. But my point still remains, you know, it's like lighting your cigar with a hundred dollar note or something. It's it's crusty the clown territory fixing canteens with epoxy. Have a good Even rush. if you have two, it's still stupid. A canteen doesn't naturally wear, but if it's in your backpack and you get twatted by a zombie, it might get damaged as a result of that. So <gasps> In the game, it's more likely to be damaged from where you found it, or occasionally it might get twatted by a Zed, you know, that, that's about it. Zed, Zed twatchage or unlucky findage would be the main edges. Right, there's going to be a tundra in here, in the upstairs. There's going to be a tundra. Not in the room that's in this corner, but there's going to be a tundra in this room, there, up there. I can see it through the floor there, using my wall hacks. There's going to be a tundra up there. Let's have a look in here first. See, it's not in here, but in this one, here it comes. Oh, fuck. I'm kind of almost glad that it wasn't there, because if it had been... Ooh. Maybe we'll, we'll rock the two-tone today. Brown and green. I'm kind of glad it wasn't there, because if it had been, it would have been on Reddit, wouldn't it? Manny Man uses cheats! <laughs> <laughs> Those houses never spawn anything for me, I swear. That house, that one, Boosty, does spawn tundras. It does. Some houses on Cherneris are hunting houses, usually when they're away from any other house. So we've looted two hunting houses fairly recently, but civilian houses, random houses on their own, on the edge of a forest or away from anywhere else, not in a town, they often can have rifles. Before they used to be live live living there used to be a hunter, you know. Uh, how many epoxy putties does one need for a canteen repair to not be repulsive to you? I think even if I had a sour sweet style bag full of epoxy putties, I still wouldn't repair my canteen. I could have a backpack full of nothing but epoxy, and I still wouldn't repair a canteen. Because if it's on the belt, or if it's if it's on a hip pack or something, it can't take any damage, and its condition is of no consequence. I, I see. I'm not shallow like canteen repairers. You know, I, I'm not shallow enough to be worried about how things cosmetically look on the outside. It's what inside that counts. It's what's inside that counts, guys. Come on. Stop being so fucking ridiculously shallow. I have returned to say I love you. No, filling and drinking it does not damage it, no. Cool hand, thank you very much for the support, dude. Thank you. Barbaric, thank you. Uh, cheers for the bits. Uh, cool hand, ba barbaric, cheers for the resub. Jareth, uh, wavy daisy, thank you very much for the 29 and 31. Cool hand, Luke, thanks again. Cheers for the resub. And Regan, Charles Leclerc, dude. Charles Leclerc, eh? I, I kind of I was hoping Charles Leclerc was going to win win the uh, the title last season. I, I for a split second I thought they might have had a chance. What if they had a feature that canteens leaked when damaged? Uh, then maybe fixing them would be functionally worthwhile. Yeah. Don't you ever hunt deers? Uh, and I need to. Right now I've got a bag full of food, so I don't need to. Exactly, Stiglitz. You know, you piss around, you piss around fixing your canteen. You'll find a better one in a minute. That's exactly right. Damn straight. The new Ferrari boss seems to have whipped them into shape. Mm. 
what do you reckon happens at Ferrari if like Sainz did better than Leclerc in the first race, right? By the end of the season, that will probably be different. But what happens if, I don't know, they get three quarters of the way through the season and Sainz has outpointed Leclerc in like nine out of ten races, so 18 out of 20 races, and then they're getting rid of the driver that's much more on form. Now, I think on balance, Leclerc is probably slightly the better of the two. But I'm not that close to F1 these days. But I still think on balance that's what I would guess is the case. But That's just racing. Yeah, but they, they obviously want to keep the better driver, don't they? Maybe they feel Leclerc can learn more from Hamilton. I don't know. The president... It's, it's the vice president of fear is meant to have tried to get an... an uh, a, a penalty for Alonso overturned and then succeeded in getting the penalty overturned. Yeah, so there's some investigation going on with that, yeah. I don't think it made a huge difference to anything, but there is an investigation going in, going on with that. On that subject, just before I went live, I was watching the news. The, the, the lady that the investigation, that the, the, the woman that was uh, made the allegations towards Christian Horner has been suspended by Red Bull. I'm guessing that the leak that came out was may maybe they're trying to pin that leak on onto her maybe but so she made an allegation there's a load of alleged evidence about texts that he sent that look inappropriate and he gets away with it and now she's suspended possibly she's lies Jambon but those those leaks uh, are the leaks aren't they you know I I, I, I'm feeling things are a little stinky, you know, personally, but maybe that's what we're being led to believe. But my gut reaction is that he's done something a bit wrong, but they're trying to get away with it because it's not that bad. She's leaked what it because she's not happy with the outcome. Type of coordination. And now they're going to get rid of her. That's, that's what it looks like. Doesn't mean that's the case, but that really is what it looks like. They're like, oh, we'll just, we'll just move it on with a slap of the wrist and call it done. What did Christopher Columbus say to his men before they got on the boat? Get on the boat, men. T R M Z L U V. Oh! <laughs> Things aren't a little stinky, they're putrid. Yeah, I think that's that's maybe fair. I think more will come out. I think it's one of those things where he's getting away with it for now. And maybe he is innocent. Maybe he is. But I think at some point, something will break that will show it and show show it right and then I think he'll be gone. I don't think Christian Horner will still be at Red Bull by the end of the season. I'm not sure he'll be still here after three or four races. We'll see. If he's innocent, of course I hope he is, but it seems a little sus right now. Michael Seb, thank you for, for the gifted sub. Self-made maniac. Uh, I'll come back to the Christopher Columbus thing. That's probably a joke, but I'll... Uh, Tyler, thank you for the super chat. What is Whitney Houston's favourite type of coordination? Hand eye. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tyler, I'm, I'm very... My Whitney Houston knowledge is limited. Oh, I, I get it. And I, I get it. You have to sing it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I got it all on my own. You have to sing it, and then it makes sense. <laughs> it's still, it, it's too clever for me. Okay, it went straight over my noggin. Ah, oh, whoosh. Uh, Tarini, thank you for the prime. Uh, Liquid, thanks for the bits. Nothing better than espresso and a Daisy Legend in the morning. The moaning. It definitely is the moaning, dude. Uh, John Mitter, thank you for the new sub. Lorgok, thank you for the bits. Right, I haven't said it yet. Let me say it in a second. Uh, Michael Seb, thanks again. And Armageddon, dude, that's insanely kind. Thank you for the gifted sub bomb. That's huge. I think there's going to be a tundra. I don't think there is one because I've kind of spied the top of the platform. But I was hoping there's going to be a tundra here. I've come here for a tundra. Where's my tundra? Where's my tundra? Where's my tundra? Bastard.
There was no reason for that, but sometimes it's nice to know what you can and can't do. You just never know. Let's say I'm being chased by someone. Let's say I'm being chased by someone and I don't have a gun. Now I know there's a way off that, right? And I know exactly how the safe way to do it is. So one day, one day I'll be getting chased by a dude and I'll go up those stairs and I'll use that and that'll be the reason why. And then I'll say to Uncooper, well, Uncooper, on the 7th of March, go and find it on the YouTube VOD. One hour and 35 minutes in, you'll find the preparation for that. And then I did it a year later. And, and he'll play this clip that I'm playing right now. Uh, and the video will be called The Nostradamus Man's. <laughs> there we go. The only bit I'm going to forget is the fact that it was the 7th of March and it was 1 hours and 35 minutes in. That bit I'll forget. Uh, where to? I'm quite pleased with that. That was kind of a nice find. It, it doesn't normally spawn here, but we've got one. That's good. What's the patch for coming out today? Bug fixing, Walking Mans. It fixes two bugs. So, dead bodies have not been despawning. That is now fixed. And the uh, the bug that allowed you to hold certain things in your hand and then break through walls and bases and doors and such like has been fixed as well. So, all the fucking bugs. The two biggest new bugs and are both been fixed, basically, which is good news. Am I heading west to Corona? My Corona. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to go north. Uh, just on that Horner thing, by the way, the Thai majority shareholder of Red Bull Racing is the one who suspended the employee. The Austrian people who co-own Red Bull with him want Horner gone and the employee brought back. Big split in Red Bull. Whoa! Rumblings, eh, barbaric? Rumblings. Yeah, what's the source? What's the source? Is it... Is it... What is the... Where's the source? Where's the source? Louis, north and west you want to go on, Chernerus. Oh, God. Barbaric. Well, I, I think that's a reasonable one, but... Lots of people were allowed to say it's all bollocks, but there we are. We'll be streamed on Netflix. What, will I have to pay extra, or will it be within the cost of Netflix? If it's just if it's just on Netflix, I'll watch it. If there was any integrity left in F1 or Red Bull, Horner would already be gone. Glad I stopped watching. Well, I don't think the whole sport can... Like, like things happen in both sport and in life, right? The right outcome will happen eventually, but... Well, I say, assuming he's guilty, but it's very hard when someone's got so much power and they're so successful. Things tend to take a little longer, don't they? But I think the right outcome will happen. Adrian Newey said last year that he regrets never having worked for Ferrari and that working with Hamilton would be fabulous. So there are rumours he might he might go. Even if he does, he should already be there now, shouldn't he? Otherwise, it won't make any difference. Ferrari's... Sorry, Hamilton's getting on, right? Adrian Newey would have to be working on Ferrari's car now. Otherwise, it's no good anyway. Even if he started next season, it would you wouldn't see the benefits of that until the season or two after. And Hamilton would be... Uh, would probably be too old. Yeah, that, that fight, Tyson and uh, Paul, Jake Paul, would be uh, the day before my birthday. Black Widow. Uh, as a slight subject change, you probably answered this many times, but what are you looking forward to the most in this year's patches? Uh... uh What I'm looking forward to the most is whatever the announcement is. That's the truth. I don't even know what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm looking forward to the announcement. 
that's what I'm looking forward to the announcement more than anything else. Whether whatever it might be, that's the thing that that really is the most exciting for me. So I've come a little bit to the left because there's a convoy spawn here. There is no convoy. I'm going to get close enough just in case it just recently despawned and maybe there might be a, uh, a a little bit of loot left on it. It's definitely that for me. Oh, there is some floating loot, but somebody's already looted what was the convoy. So someone came here with a red backpack on that one and they, they switched out for convoy loot. And now it's hovering there. Could have been hours ago though. I was trying to make the game seem more authentic, but that's not done it, is it? Dude. There should be some kind of like Pride of Chernerus Daisy Player Award. I feel like I, I want a nomination. You know, the next player that comes along here, right? Just imagine this, right? This is so, so serious. Sarcasm involved in what I just said. The next player that moses along here will not see a floating red bag and thereby go, oh my god, my whole day is ruined, immersion broken. They'll go, oh, I didn't know that spawn loot. And then every time afterwards, they'll check that for loot. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I feel like, like, just like, I feel a, a, a great degree of warmth and pride. <laughs> Which I may, I may be uh, slightly exaggerating. Oh. That was a that was a Darth Vader. That was two guns. It wasn't at Devil's Castle, I don't think. It was an SKS and something else. Can you shoot the backpack so it despawns? Any plans to add yeah. video plus codes to your stream so I can record when I'm at the working men's club? Video plus codes, dude. Don't video plus takes me back. I, I don't need any memories of Video Plus. I, uh, Video Plus, to me, means one thing. And that thing is a little old lady called Mrs. Murray, whose house I used to have to go round for my old job once every two weeks to show her how to use Video Plus. And then, two weeks later, I'd go round to show her how to use Video Plus. Slight exaggeration, but I went round there at least ten times a year for many years. Uh, she couldn't use it. She'd only bought a video plus. She'd only bought a video, but the owner was like a good guy, and so I used to have to go around. But she wasn't asking me to go and show her how to use video plus. She would say, "Oh, can you show me how to use video plus?" And then she'd hand me a piece of paper <laughs> with all the things she wanted recorded. <laughs> so it, I wasn't showing her how to use video plus. I was setting it up for the things she wanted for the next two weeks. <laughs> I used to do that. It was not. It was. It was. She was a sweet lady. Uh, Acid. Thank you very much for the support. Rev. Thank you for the prime. Uh, Vanquish. Thank you for the two months. Cheers for the support, guys. I do feel like it was around here. A little bit further, but I think we were on the right line. It, I think it was in the trees over watching Grishino. I don't think it was at the castle. How old am I? Fuck, fuck all, I am, uh, I'm 38. I help using video plus long. <laughs> video plus, fuck me dead. I'm old enough to remember when VHS came in, but only I was very young at the time. I ever thought about doing something else other than Daisy? Seven. With this great community. No. Uh, I, I am one day gonna get myself a uh, a paddling pool, like a like a hot tub. Let's call it a hot tub, but it won't be as expensive as that. And I'm gonna sit in it in a pair of Y fronts and a string vest, and sit there eating fried egg sandwiches all day, and letting the yolk all bounce around off, like drip down on my chin and on the. It's gonna be great. I, I think I'm gonna get thousands upon thousands of extra viewers. Fried egg sandwiches. Like with tomato ketchup in as well, and then really bite down so it squidges out everywhere. I 
I think we must be fairly close to where the shots were now, and I ain't seeing any evidence of anything. I really don't think they were on, on around here. I don't think they were this close to the, the field. I don't think they were at Devil's Castle. It can be really hard to be sure. It very much sounded like emergency shooting in, you know, like maybe it was at the castle. Maybe somebody just turned into a tower and it, it sounded like the desperate shots of one person prepared and one person that was fucked, kind of like you turn a corner or you're coming up the steps and the one at the top knows you're coming. So somebody took an emergency shot and the one at the top took the kill shot kind of thing, you know? Let's let's go and check the castle, just double check. You never know. It's annoying because we only just left the castle and I've not looted anything since we did, but... Could have been two people hunting, but... I don't know. I don't know. I, I th they were very, very uh, closely... I, if you're in Discord or whatever, you can go... Alright, you take the one on the left, I'll take the one on the right. Three, two, one, shoot. But even still, I think I think my, my guess is better. I think it was shots. MP, yeah, I'm, I'm hopeful for this year. We shall see. I just want to find out. I want to know. I want to know so badly. So even though I just looted this, I am going to check everywhere again because stuff respawns, right? I might as well loot it again while I'm here. With your clout, I'd be hassling them. Well, I, I I try not to hassle. But even if I had been doing that, I guess I wouldn't say, would I? Weird, they weren't all there when we left, were they? Having a real good look. Fucking hate this scope. Gone. Oh, gone. 
don't, I don't, I don't want to go back where we came from now. It'd be so fucking tedious. <gasps> I'm going to go to Crescino. Fuck it. Let's go there instead. Yo, Amanda, I think the game has changed loads. Some people don't see it, but... Some people didn't like the game, and so they still don't like the game in a way, you know. But yeah, since the game went 1.0 and then Livonia came out and stuff, like Livonia came out in uh, 2019, I think. And the difference since from then to now, I know it's five years, but well, four and a half years at the moment, roughly four years, three months maybe. But the difference between Livonia 1.06 kind of era and now is huge. Would players render in that distance? Probably not, no. I'm not sure about zombies, probably the same, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure how far that is. It must be more than a thousand meters, I'd get I would guess, but players render at about a thousand ish meters, and zombies are about the same. Hey Digimap. Just really, really, really love that tree. Boost here. I don't think it is a thousand meters. I think it's a bit complex. I think uh, if you're moving forwards, players tend to render in about a thousand. But once you can see them, if you then walk backwards, you can see them almost beyond a thousand and fifty. It's that's how it used to be. I'm not one hundred percent sure how it is now, but. If you're walking forwards towards a player, they pop in at about a thousand meters. But then, if you if you walk exactly to the point where a player renders in and then start stepping back, they'll still be there for a bit longer. So it's not like uh, you take a step forwards, they appear. You take a step back, they disappear. It doesn't really do that. Coffee sounds like a good plan. If you could add or change anything in the game, what would it be? Uh, the ability to ask that question. <laughs> uh, I would make it so that the players, the other players that try to shoot me, like unbeknownst to them, when they fire their gun, instead of a bullet coming out the end of the barrel, it out came a little red and white flag that said bang on it. That, that's what I would quite like. I'd like that. Uh, I think really that to, to, to give you a serious answer I uh, dude hope you're good I think I'd quite like the zombie AI to be really fleshed out and improved I think that's probably the one that's the biggest for me right now improving the zombie AI and the AI in general could be good too Kim thank you for gifting Yomanda the sub very kind dude thank you very much uh, Dr. Wickham, thank you very much for the nine months. Too teasy, thank you very much. The one I always give as a feature rather than a fix. Uh, so I answer this question a lot, but the, the one I always give as a feature rather than a bug fix, like, would be uh, I'd really love some more use of the ocean on Chernerus. I'd love to see. Chernerus is an amazing map, but I'd love to see another island or two. I'd love to see a few oil rigs or crashed battleships or uh, areas that you can get to. But you need to travel there. Like, I'd, I'd love to see boats added and the ability to go and build the base on an island or something, you know. Like, like put some effort in and go to somewhere that, that's kind of cool but not on the mainland. Elaborate a bit more on Zed's piston broke. I I don't really think I don't really mind the cars thing, Mason. So I've just seen your thing. The zombies are just not very good, dude. Like like 
go and stand in a container and then watch the zombie. Like, trying to get a zombie trapped in a container is almost impossible. You're standing in the container and then the zombie does that do si do do si do do si do do Like, it, it never comes in the container. It just runs around the outside until you get bored. You know, like, the pathwaying of the Zeds, the, the way that they melee, the way that they attack is a little bit dodgy, but... The, the main thing for me, oh nice, the main thing for me more than anything else is the way that they pathway and and how badly they do at getting in and out of buildings and such, you know, that would be a, a massive fix for me personally. Uh, I I don't see it, like Mason, just to, you, you said uh, you can cheese them on top of cars. I think that's fine. I, I don't, I'll, for the purposes of DayZ, I think... Being able to stand on top of a barrier or stand on top of a car and kill the zombies is fine. Because we're not playing a zombie survival play game. We're playing DayZ, a survival sandbox game, and the zombies are an element of it. So if you've got four zombies on you and you're standing on top of a car and then punching them, that takes time. In that time, a player can come and start overwatching and then your life's at risk, you know. it's not an, it, We're not playing a single-player survival game where we're surviving against zombies and an open-world threat of wolves and bears. The main threat in DayZ is meant to be the players, so while you're on top of a barrier or a sandbag compound, shooting zombies or melleeing zombies or whatever, you're not defending yourself and looking around to see whether you're being sniped or not. I, so I don't see it as cheesing. I know some people do, and I completely get that, entitled to your opinion, but I think that's a really important element of the gameplay, personally. You know, like If you fuck up at Moschino Tents, for example, you can go and get on the sandbag compound, and dig yourself out of a hole there. But if, if you've aggroed 10 zombies at Moschino Tents, and then you're trying to melee them with an axe or something, players come to Moschino Tents once every half an hour. That five minutes while you're fucking around with the zombies could be the five minutes that gets you killed, you know? That's the story, Thanks, that's the running. game, you know? That, that's that's the, the, the beauty of the game. The amount of times that I've fucked up at Moschino and then been shot at while I've been on those sandbag compounds is, is like crazy because the main threat in the game is always intended to be the player i'm the only one having some stutters while watching the stream maybe you're just blinking too much sorry <laughs> uh uh zalasha thank you for the resub hopefully uh, hopefully it's uh, months, working okay for others years, smiley face uh, Halo Uppercut, thank you for the 12. Zalasha, great one. Casey, Kim Wilde, thank you for the support, guys. Just having a look. So I'm just looking on my OBS. There's a drop frames percentage. It tells you how many frames you've dropped since the start of the stream. So we've been live one hour and 58 minutes, and I've dropped zero frames, which is incredible, actually. So normally if you get stutter, it implies I'm dropping frames. I've not dropped a single frame all day so far. the first noise I'm fucking dead there's no zombies gonna save me how unlucky is that he was in the fucking shed there was a shot from further away oh man that sucks that really sucks Oh, at least we've got a good spawn. But that, that, there's not much more annoying in the game, personally, to me, than that. You know, like, you've literally spent two hours looting. I'd got really good loot. I'd got a tundra, just found a tundra, very happy about it. And then get killed jumping a fence because you didn't check a shed that had, you had no reason to check. <laughs> like, what the fuck was the dude doing in there? You know, he might have been sorting his inventory and I just run past and gift him the kill, you know? It's the worst death in the game. Like, if I'd seen him and missed a shot, at least I had a chance, you know? But I didn't. You know, that sucks. Bomb dog, I didn't lose focus. I have no regrets about that. I didn't lose any focus, dude. I'm a streamer. My focus is the stream and the game. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that at all, you know? I, my stream style and my game style is such that sometimes I'll get shot at and then I'll defend myself and that's the cool part of the game. But once in a blue moon, you get killed, you know? But yeah, I, I don't feel I lost focus there, dude. But I, my my playstyle is based on probability. I don't check random sheds for players because 
I'll be wasting so much fucking time, you know. I, occasionally it bites you on the ass, but that's my playstyle, you know. It's just one of those things. There was an impact from a further away shot as well. That's the crazy thing. Someone tried to shoot me with a suppressed weapon from further away. And before I could do anything about that, the dude from close range had shot me, which is really annoying. But Garrett, yeah, we've, we've talked about it a few times today, dude. Uh, we, we've, we've, we really have, but it, apparently it's on Netflix. So if it's not pay-per-view, I'm quite excited for it from that point of view. Worst kind of death, best kind of kill. Mm. Have to agree to disagree on that one. The best kind of kill is when the person that tries to do that fucks up and you get them. That's the best kind of kill, right? The best kind of kill isn't when uh, somebody drifts past and you just KOS them. It's not to me anyway. It's when you, someone tries to KOS you and they fail. Yesterday on Alteria I was meleeing a zombie and somebody tried to shoot me and they missed me and hit the zombie. And I spam round and one tapped and one tap, baby. That's the kind of kill that's the most satisfying for me. You know, uh, maybe long range snipes as well. But when someone tries to kill you and they fail and you get revenge, that one revenge kill is worth ten other types of kill, I think. But yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting news, Garrett. I'm, I'm struggling to get excited about it, to be honest. I just hope, I hope Mike Tyson really uh, does the business, to be honest. So he, he wasn't in the shed, he was just nearby, was he? Oh well. Kind of unlucky, but shit happens. Sorry, Matthew, you've got done by Nightbot for spam there. You shouldn't really get done for just typing seven emotes in. I'll try and remember to, to sort out Nightbot settings on YouTube. Seven emotes shouldn't get you a timeout from Nightbot. So I'll try and correct that if I remember to. Here you go. To ease the pain. Underscore TRMZ love. Stian, dude, thank you very much for the continued support, dude. That's fine. I... It, they're the worst kind of deaths for me, though. So I, they're the ones that annoy me the most. At least it was after only two hours rather than three or four. Like, I've had runs on Chernerus lately where I've had that after six hours, you know. That's really... We had that the other day on at Sinistock. And I was in the dark and I was crossing a road to get to the next set of buildings and I just got mowed down. And, like, when, he, when you've been alive four, five, six hours, it's a lot more painful than now, you know. And this spawn is one of my favourites. I think it is my favourite, Western Cherno is probably my favourite. It, it, it's the best way to get to good loot quick. I quite like going to the prison island. I, I quite like this side of the map. It will be in the contract that Tyson can't knock him out. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know what the contracts say. say. I, I don't know if... It would be interesting to see if Mike Tyson could still... If he could somehow have that edge that he had when he was really young and just go in so aggressive and just pummel, that would be amazing. But I think age might be the problem there, not, not a contract. I think that went remarkably well. It would be exciting if Netflix got into live events. If, if they did it within the price of the contract. Which I suspect is not going to be the case. You know, <laughs> but As ever with these things, it's just another layer of you pay. You know, you pay... Let's say Netflix got into live sports. Like if you were subscribing to Sky and TNT, to TNT and Amazon to watch football. And you were really into soccer. Let's say it's... Call it soccer. Who cares? I don't. But if you were subscribing to TNT and Sky and at Amazon to watch all of the Premier League football, and then Netflix Always got some games too, stream. it's just another fucking, it's another, like, take, taking the piss 
like to robbing you of more money kind of thing, you know? It's hard to... It's Prishka, thank you for the 57 months. Still 74, cheers for the support. Garrett, thank you very much too. Uh, Chalk Tomahawk, uh, you've got Garrett to thank for the gifted sub. Cheers, Garrett, dude. Terror Ape, thank you for the gifted sub too. Balto and Halo, thanks for the bits and the reset. It is indeed a long time, dude. 57 month inning. Long time to be 38. Netflix going big with live stuff. Ooh. But is Rolls Royce going big or should I sell now? That's the question. I'm thinking of selling. I haven't done it. Well, I, I sold half because I moved my ISO. Sorry, boring talk for a second, guys. Some might say it's all boring talk. Uh, Rolls Royce for me right now is 321.81% up since I bought it. I think it might be time to just sell. And if it goes up more, so what? Now, I, I hasten to add that's not... <laughs> I only had a small amount, but yeah, nonetheless. Zeds, isn't it? I think I might shoot him. There's less than 20 zombies, right? to get the helmet as well. Sure. Oh, look, a canteen. And it doesn't need to be fixed with a potty pu epoxy putty. E potty putty. Canteen's pretty useful, actually. That's not bad. Right, let's go this way a little bit. How many bullets have I got left? Still got ten bullets left. I'm rich. I'm rich, I tell thee. Rich. Pot epoxy. Was that a lighter? I hope I didn't miss a lighter. I would definitely have grabbed it. By the bison's pretty loud, Garrett. It's certainly louder than a pistol would be, but I didn't intend to be there very long, so... One of them calculated, calculated whis whisks. Whisks it was. it was. It was a small whisk, but it was calculated. I can't even say it right. I'm not trying to say calculated. I can say that, obviously. do with one thing to eat. Hmm. Decent start, I think. Ah! Uh! 
Right, we're going this way. Oh, I've got to loot in here next. He was making a lot of noise for one zombie, wasn't he? That hat doesn't fit me. Say I heard steps that didn't seem right. Another one of the bulimic zombies. Kind of sounds like a kind of decent punk band, doesn't it? The, bule the bulimic zombies. Stussy, thank you very much for the 33 months. Brishka, cheers for gifting Mike the sub. Thank you very much. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. I come for the gameplay, but stay for the commentary. Well, there wasn't much gameplay on that last life, was there? Just burning channel points, as did a lot of people that bet on the last bet, I think. <laughs> Beating up the village old folks. He's younger than me. In game and IRL. See, like the uh, she's the oldest one so far. She's the sprightliest. She's got the zhuzh. Nick, yeah, we know that, dude. We all know that. <clears throat> However, they are called zombies in the game file, believe it or not, even though the devs have always been quite careful not to call them that. They are called zombies in the actual game file. And separately, uh, in, the, in the coding, separately, if you were in an apocalypse like this, being chased by those, I think the survivors would likely call them zombies. Unless they were in The Walking Dead, in which case they would have to call them anything but zombies because it seems to be an important mechanic of the film. Sorry, of the show. So they're walkers or uh, biters, as the governor would call them. Biters. They're biters. Well, that's good news. We've just got uh, double barreled problems. This good start's about to get a whole lot worse. Uh, the hands don't discriminate. Everyone gets some. Exactly. Right, we need we need a Zagorki in here. A little old Zagorki even would do. A can of tuna would be epic. I should be going straight to the well right now, and I'm not, am I? You know? Oh, hunting knife. I need that. Pristine hunting knife. I'm, I can die happy now. I'm going to loot this grandma house and then I'm going to go to the well. Neon, it, it probably should be there. Yeah, just click on the link to two messages above yours. You can see the link there. Uh, it's Prishka, Stussy, still 74 down. Garrett, Terror Apes, Dian, Balto, Halo, thank you. like a blaze with a scope. I'm not happy with that. Check for apples. What about apples? You might get apples. Check for apples. So, 
you die within about 10 minutes if, you, if you're thirsty and hungry by dying of both at the same time. So I've got to go to the well. And then we'll have to loot. I never normally loot Bolotta Town. But today I think we're going to have to do it. And we'll have to just find a bit of food and then we'll crack on from there. Why is it Grandma's house? Because it looks like a, like a Grandma's house. It looks like a Grandma lives there. Look at it from the outside. It just looks like one. It's a little bit like a Hansel and Gretel, ha Gretel house as well, but Grandma's house. Only a Grandma would live in that house. It's a bungalow. One story. Uh, kind of quaint, old school looking. I'm not sure Grandma would have s such a... No, no, there's, the bed's actually proper height, isn't it? I was going to say she... Grandma probably wouldn't have a bed on the floor like a futon, but she'd never get off the fucker, would she? Meant to be going straight to the well. Right. We haven't even lost a, a, a set smidge of health yet, so we're doing okay. That's now we're only dying once rather than twice, which is good news. He's listening. Hey, uh, SV Cred, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Uh, Joke, I've been watching a while, uh, never chatted, but thanks for making time fly at work. Dude, thanks for coming in, hope you're well. Tier 1 membership to befriend the first person you see, then betray them, Faulty. I, I don't do that, really. I, I can't remember ever properly befriending someone and then killing them. I don't remember doing it hardly ever. I'm, I've probably done it once or twice, Seven but it's, it's just not something Can't I enjoy. Can't long because my boss is on the prowl, so thank goodness for the VODs. I enjoy being naughty sometimes, but I like to start evil. I don't like to become evil. I like to start evil. Tundra, I, I can't remember Dutch, dude, but like like I say, I like to start evil, not not be friends for two hours and then kill him at a well or something. That ain't my uh, that ain't my playbook. How do I fast forward on the dr the water drinking content? You have to blink at the speed of a mouse's heart. If you can blink at the speed of a house a mouse's heartbeat. The water, the water drinking will fly by. Exactly. I like to give people grenades, but only if I've just met them. I know I can drink two canteens without puking, Tavi, but I want to eat the food as well, and I need to not puke with that too, don't I? If you eat two, if you drink two entire canteens. It takes longer until the Summit Plus symbol goes away, and then I can't... Like, I'm dying of hunger right now. So I, I need to be able to eat the food I've got. Uh, big Nose, thank you for the Prime, dude. Big Nose Git Face, what a name. I like that name. Big Nose Git Face. You know where you are with someone called Big Nose Git Face. Uh, Churchy, thank you very much as well. Have you tried looking for apples? Yeah, Liquid Dude, thanks for the advice. You're speaking something... Have I loot? I've looted this, haven't I? Oh well. If this is some kind of daisy code that I don't understand, you know, next level tactics, eating food and drinking water. Not getting hit by zombies. All, all things I, I don't do, clearly. Ty stinky. We're getting little bits. It's shit, but it's better than none. Ugh! <laughs> 
me at you, Ari. Mm. All right. I'd like a box of cereal. <sighs> Oi! Fuck! Oi! Oi! now though just even these little bits of food they all help we might as well uh, stove these one skulls in and all I'm surprised I've not got like peaches or beans or something yet Other one going. I was just looking at the distance at the other one. He was off on a on his merry way. He was. Where did you go? I never loot that row anymore. I used to loot that row all the time. I'm going to loot this row, just for a change. This row here. The very end house, there's a little bit of a gap to it. That can sometimes have scopes and stuff. <coughs> Let's have a quick look in the... Uh, did I check these before? I might have done. No honey. That nobody's planted honey today. Tin spaghetti is definitely still in the game, yeah. Kind of unknown. I thought he was going to come nearer to me before he came out swinging. I really did. Uh, yeah, I definitely need that. We're doing all right. The annoying death is uh, long since forgotten now. It's fine. There will be apples now. Yeah, I don't really need apples, though. I've been here for a while. The apples are more likely to be back where I was, though, and I want to go where I'm going, you know? Like, I, I, I'll i check apple trees as I see them. Like, that, I think that's a pear tree, for example. Plum tree, probably, this one, actually. But uh, I'll check the trees as I'm around. But I was in the bit of the town over near the well for longer, so if there are any fruit, they'll be around there. But I'm not going that way. I'm, I'm going this way, so... We've got enough food to carry on for now. I, I don't need to worry for a bit. I've got two cans of pop. We've had a few pâtés. I want to go back this way, check this house, get a scope, and then move on to somewhere where the loot is. You know, We're not going to get good loot in this town. I've just picked up enough food to make us to where we're going to go next. Time goes fast. We've got a canteen full of water. We're, we're in a much better place now, so we should be fine. Uh, Mr. Speed. Time goes by so far. Wasn't that a Medina song? I think it was slightly different. Uh, do I, I don't have a bag, do I? Dude, thank you for the support. Uh, cheers for the uh, seven month inning, Speedy.
That's my me house near the Bolotas. Definitely don't need that anymore. Uh, what's a good litmus test? Uh, I, I I don't think Zombie Kids would be good for the game, Kerry Baker. I just don't. It might make it more realistic, but I think it would be bad for the game. Uh, because, unfortunately, people are stupid. <laughs> uh, you only need to go in a lobby of most video games any of any any game. People are stupid. So if you if one of the key mechanics of a game is that you're taking a baseball bat and bludgeoning kids in the head with it, I know it's a game, but it's just like leading to uh, it's leading to people coming out with shit in game, and it's leading to a, like if you think about ratings for films, if you if you were making your game that way, I think there'd be some countries that just wouldn't give it a rating. It, it just, it just, it might be more authentic, but let's face it, we're talking about authenticity in a fictional thing that, as much as there's lots of, uh, there's lots of things that are wrong with the world, it's unlikely there's going to be a zombie apocalypse anymore, anytime soon. There is no such thing as zombies, so worrying about authenticity on a fictional thing is probably, uh, a bit, a bit of a reach. looks good in hand. I, like, I quite like the way it looks. Looks good. <laughs> uh, Mr. Speed, thank you for the seven months, dude. Thanks again. I don't think I need to go fishing. We're gonna we're gonna survive on goat meat. Juki. Bastard. Oh you fucker. What? I'm sorry, but that's that's horse shit. That wasn't my fault, okay? All of those shots except the first ones hit. That was that was my immersion broken. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I missed some of those. We're not getting four bits of meat from this one, are we? Fuck me. Maybe I should take the meat. Maybe I should take the, the bones for fishing. Inhumanity of it all. Riddled with fucking 380 rounds. Someone said earlier, why don't you hunt deers? That's why. <laughs> That's why I don't hunt deers. I can't fucking hit the goat. I do feel a bit slow today. I was doing aim training for a good while. I haven't done it for about a week and I can feel the difference. My aim is not the quickest anyway, but it's slower at the moment than it normally is. Big Al, thanks for coming in. Yeah, I've got. I don't need the guts, uh, Dan. I've got. I've got the rope already, so I just got the bones for the hooks. But I don't think I'm going to do any fishing. This this meat will keep me going for fucking ages, so it should be all right. Right, where's the biggest tree? The biggest, 36, most. 36, 36. I think it's that one. Oh no, is that one bigger? Yeah, it's that one. Let, I'm going to chop that one down. They're all the same. Let's face it. But I'm going to chop down the biggest fucker tree. Because why not? Fucking hell, it takes longer than I thought. Chopped a tree down in ages. I ho!
Is it true wolves can one headshot kill you with no protection? In theory, yes, but it depends on the state of your woe bone. If you've just spawned in and you get hit once in the head by a wolf, no. But let's say you've just been through a really busy town and taken a lot of twattenings from zombies and stuff, then possibly yes. It's all it's all down to the condition of your woe bone. Right, how about a blaze, or a tundra, or a scope? Oh, there's a scope. That's something, right? Is there another animal you'd like in the game? Yeah, I'd quite like some kind of kind of cougar or mountain lion, sort of a Steve French type thing. I think it I think that kind of wild cat could probably work. Uh, like, you couldn't have a tiger or a lion or something because it would need to be from this area, but they have, like, mountain lions and equivalents, you know, that, like, that would be kind of cool. Was there somebody in the trees? I hope not. Maybe it was the predator. Over here, over here, turn around. <laughs> this one goes out to all of those that have built a fucking hand drill and then realised they had matches afterwards. Cool hand, I was joint top joint top with the guy that killed me on on kills in the event, so I am through to the final. Yeah. I'm through to the next round, as it were, dude. I got three yeses. I don't think snakes would be very kind cur fun, Kirsty. Maybe they would add some immersion, but the problem with snakes is you wouldn't see them until you stand on them and stuff, you know. Maybe it would be more immersive, but something like a cougar is something you, you could hear and be fearful of and be chased by, and it would be much more fun in the game, you know, like... Whereas a snake would be more a bit like a bear trap, where... You're just w walking along minding your own beeswax and all of a sudden you just get bitten by a snake. It, it just... It would be a bit more annoying. It wouldn't really be fun. But that, that's my personal take. Doesn't mean yours can't, can't be different, you know? Let's go full pal world and make day dead with Pokemon. They did have that ball that you could get a bear into, didn't they? The devs added one one uh, Halloween, I think it was. You could throw up like a Pokeball and it would, it would swallow a bear. And then you could throw it out and let the bear out on somebody else. So you could like go and Pokeball a bear and then take it back to Electro and throw it at new spawns and shit. Uh, Alexander, thank you for the support. Very kind. Uh, cheers for the uh, for the super chat. Uh, Pixie Dust, thank you again. Cheers for the gifted sub -innings. You're very, very generous, dude. Thank you. Dirty 36, eh? Dude, thank you very much. Resonate. <coughs> oh, come on. I'm bored now. Pal world, you say? Pal world. OK, 
Okay, let's let's go uh, let's go full unknown food unknown food eating for now. So the good start has kind of tailed off a little bit. I, the PU scope's pretty good. We could maybe get an SKS or a Mosin in the next 20 minutes if we're lucky, perhaps. Yeah, Quantum Goose. The subject's come up quite a lot today. It's quite a hot topic today. Uh, Tyson versus Jake Paul. I uh. Yeah, we've, we've covered it loads. I, I, I hope Mike Tyson smashes him up, let's say. It's majestic. Oh shit. Gonna see me puke in a minute. Where's your daddy? Where's the where's the stag? Big boy. That one's looking at me. Caref careful, Doreen. There's a fat man about to try and shoot you in the ass. All right, Maureen. I'll go towards this fence and then I'll leap it and run away. Ah! See, I told you. <laughs> oh well, that was no good. So that was a washout. That's kind of rude. What's kind of rude? How do people walk off those deer stands? Well, it, it doesn't always work, dude. It's There's no knack to it. You just walk off like I did, and sometimes you fall, and sometimes you don't. The bit where you used to sort of slide straight down them that was a bit buggy seems to happen a lot less now, so hopefully that's kind of mostly gone. I just fall off them, and that's that. You, don't, you lose so little energy or so little health, it doesn't make any odds. Unless you were going to loot like 20 of them back to back and they were all like a foot apart or something, you'd be fine. I tried to log in on a server that told me the client is a newer build than the server. Uh, what can I do for that? Nothing, Greek. If you've, if you've got the Daisy update and the server you're trying to join has not got the Daisy update, you've just got to wait. So there's been a new patch with the game today. Uh, sometimes community servers might take three, four, five, six hours to update because they've done a new patch, but the person that runs that server might be at work until later, you know. So the server will update as soon as somebody gets to do it. So just be patient, you know, play on another server for the time being kind of thing. That's all you can do. It damages your shoes when you drop off stuff like that. Eh, mine are still pristine. Yeah, I think you have to do an awful lot of those before it causes much much issue. Nothing to see here. If you're wearing shoes you really want to keep, it might be an, a factor worth thinking about. But I ain't keeping this fucking shitters. So I'm just coming up a little early. There are a couple of helicopter crash site spawns up this way, so thought I'd have a quick look. There's no smoke. Am I not going to the prison? Yep, this is my route to the prison. There's some hunting spawns up here I just want to check, dude. I, I, I always come around this way. There's a red and white house up here that spawns uh, that spawns hunting loot. There's a feed shack and a hunting stand that can sometimes have stuff. I ca like I said, I, I might have myself a Mosin or an SKS in the next 20 minutes. I'm kind of going to the places where I might find a Mosin, maybe a Tundra even. Liverpool kick off in an hour. Is the uh, Europa League, is that on TNT as well or is that on Sky? I think it's on U TNT, isn't it? I wish TNT would get outbid. It would be great if they got outbid and it all went back to Sky. Sorry if you've got TNT, but now I've got Sky or now TV Sports. 
I'd quite like TNT to be crushed by the sky uh, behemoth. Spirit, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you very much. Uh, cheers for the support. Thank you. Can we get a, call, a shout out to Spirit of Mountains in the chat, please, if possible? Uh, I don't think they have the FA Cup, Dave. See, they've got extra FA Cup games. So I don't think it's taking away games that would be on the telly. It's extra ones, I believe. But anyway, it's still, it's still kind of annoying. It's not like they're going to get the final exclusively or anything. That's not the house, by the way. The, the red and white house is this one down here. I took a side, side track to try and check out where the heli might be. Well, Madzak, the games are still going to be on the FA... Uh, the FA Cup games are still going to be on ITV and BBC, but there's going to be some extra pay-for ones as well. It might just be a way to make it so that one day it's all on that way, but I hope not. Uh, don't call me Al. Thank you very much for the bits, by the way, dude. Thank you. This house here... ...is the, uh, is the one... Sometimes you can get a hunting rifle or a scope or whatever. I'll tell it. I'm ho kind of hopeful we might get a convoy spawned by the prison as well. You never know. They're not randomised to guy, no. The, the, the military convoys have set spawns. <laughs> Remember when I told you I was coming here looking for a thing that I was looking for? And then when I came here, I found the thing that I was looking for and another thing that I was looking for too. Two of the things. And it's got two bullets as well. Yeah, so, and like I say, my, my, <laughs> my route to the prison involves coming to this house for that. Now we're going to drift down to the feed check and find some bullets. Uh, I don't have Sky, it's too expensive. I kind of agree, Pinkster. I, look, to be fair, I've got Now TV, which is free. Like, Now TV, I, I was watching Gravy's movies as well. I've, I've got some different box and I've not signed in. But anyway, <laughs> not, not at the moment, am I? Uh, I think it is too expensive, but I got sent an offer that made it £20 a month for the sports, which is it's not cheap. It's £240 for a year. But that's for all of the sport, all of the Formula One, all of the football, all of the all of the lovely things that I'd quite like to watch. So I've cancelled Dazzin, which was a hundred pounds a month, hundred pounds a year. Sorry, I I signed up to Dazzin to watch an Anthony Joshua fight. Now Anthony Joshua's back on the level where he, every fight he does is pay per view. There's no point having Dazzin anymore. They they have a few fights, but they don't have enough. So yeah, I've cancelled the boxing and I've added the sports and seems like it's going to cost me an extra 140 a year but get a lot more content so I'm down for that to be fair but yeah I the the, the the channels the costs of all of them are is insane and I have to be honest the viewing experience on now TV is a bit shit like it's not like Sky where you can just go to Sky Sports 1 and Sky Sports 2 or whatever they call them now they probably call them Sky Sports Football and Sky Sports F1. I think they name the name the channels after the sports now, but it's not like that. You go to the sports, and then it, it's like trying to choose something on Netflix, but you want to watch what's live now. It's really annoying. I, I, it should just be like the channel, and, and it ain't. I find it really annoying. At least you can watch the stuff, though. You just have to spend a slight, little longer finding the fucking thing. Do I ever watch my YouTube vids back, and then the whole vid? Very rarely. So I, uh, I always watch when Uncooper's edited for me. I always, uh, I always watch the draft. So Uncooper will spend. Unfortunately, the video for Saturday has been delayed. It'll be next Saturday, by the way. So it's the end of Friday. Sorry, it's the end of Thursday today for Uncooper. He ain't going to get the video d finished tomorrow. Uh, it's still working on it, but it ain't going to be done in time. So I did been saying a week that I thought that might happen, and it has. But to, so when, when Uncupa sends me a video, he sends me the draft, so it won't have narration and it might be missing a few things. So I watch that back entirely, and I might send him a few things. Like sometimes it's just simple things, like the music at four minutes in is a little bit too loud or a little bit too quiet, or I don't know this scene here. Can you please cut that? It, very. 
when we first started, there might have been 15 to 20 amendments. Nowadays, there's normally one or two or three at the most, if any, you know, because they like, he's kind of got more aligned to my style. He knows what I'm going to want before I want it kind of thing, you know, but, uh, so I watch every video back at the draft stage. Beyond that, I don't watch them back, dude. I, I, I don't. If I edit them myself, I definitely don't watch them back because by the time I've finished the video, I'm sick of it, dude. Like, if, you've, if you're editing down something that's 10 hours long and the video ends up being 50 minutes, it, it'll probably take you 8 to 10 hours to complete the edit if it's a very simple edit, if it's a very simple job. And by the time you've finished the edit, the most painful part then is that you have to watch it back to make sure there's no mistakes. So after I've finished a video, I'll then spend 50 minutes watching the finished article back. And after 8 to 10 hours of doing it, I'm sick of it, and then I have to watch the fucker back. It's really the most frustrating. Like, I can't stand. Man Von Doom, yeah, it's awful. I, I can't... I edit it. I enjoy the finished product. I, I really enjoy YouTube, but I don't enjoy editing. It's nice when you have a nice idea, you know. Sometimes, like... In the past, when I've got, I've had a really cool idea for an ending, for a video, I think an example of that would be the Runaway Man, Garrett, that you were in. I think I, I vaguely remember having an idea for the ending, uh, and how I wanted it to be. Like I wanted to be like, because I died in the at the end of that, and I wanted to slow mo my my fall to death, and then sort of put in some clips of what's happened. I just had this idea, and I was quite excited to get to the end. So I enjoyed the edit because I was excited to get to the ending because I liked my idea for the ending kind of thing. But normally you just want to get it done. Man Von Doom, so I hear. I'm kind of hopeful that we'll be able to get... Like, I'd, I'd quite like to be able to put like uh, the stream with Muller and Sauer in from Monday. I'd quite like to get AI to just edit that down like from, from an eight hour stream to one hour of action. And then release it. That imagine that. How much, how much easier would that make my life? Clap dot app. Hmm. Hire somebody who can edit. Mh, I've got an editor, dude. I've got an editor. So that, but I my videos. Got shot at. And it was suppressed, I think. I don't know if it was from the prison. It was from the prison, I think. That's weird. It's almost like their hand state bugged or something. I've got no vest, so I could wake up really injured here. Yeah, look at that. I think they might be on the prison roof. I think he was on the prison roof. There's no way that's him. Maybe it was, but I think I was over the hill. Maybe that shot was the dude. Like I'm so I'm so injured though, I can't do a lot about it. Like, swimming over there could actually kill me right now. I'm starting to think that the shot behind was the guy that shot me. I didn't see a blood stain. I, did, I didn't see 
like a thing on the screen. I didn't notice it. Maybe there wasn't one. Some servers have it and some servers don't. Well, that's why I'm going this way. If he, think, if he thinks he killed me and he was from the prison, he might swim over and I might get him. I don't think it was over here. I think it was behind. The only reason I'm alive at all is because I've got the, uh, because we were just far enough away. I would like to go to the prison. But I'm just waiting for my health to regen a bit more, because if I go in the water I think it might kill me. shot sounded more over towards the town, like towards Komarovo. So I'm just taking my time right now. I'm just trying to regen some health. And then I'm going to try and go across to the prison island. I'm going to have to face some zombies and whatnot, but I can go there. I can maybe find a maybe find a stab vest. I can maybe find some more bullets or an SKS or something, but I can't do much here. And I, I don't really feel like it's wise for me to start setting off to the next town because I'm going to be limping and I'm going to be so slow. I'm just going to get shot on the beach. I think going to the cul-de-sac of the prison is a smarter move than anything else. And that may not pan out to be the case, but it's the percentage play right now, I think. Right, I've got I've got the heat pack on. I think I'm just going to go for it. So far so good on the temperature. Light blue. Go, 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 go. If I can avoid going dark blue here, that would be a hell of a, a big deal. I don't think there's any cheating going on. I think it was just somebody sniping with a, uh, with a bottle suppressor and then the bottle suppressor ran out. I don't think there's any cheating, no. They took two shots, they missed the first one and then they hit the second one.
I'd love to find me a, a little bit more 308. That would be good. He may think I'm dead. He may think I'm dead. The only thing is I just don't have any... Uh, I don't have any bullets. If I had like six or seven... Or, fucking hell, that door over there. Jesus. If I had a few bullets, it would make such a difference. Because, uh, say I get into a long-range snipe-off with them, I'm going to need two hits to kill them, at least with the blaze. It, it, like, say they're five, six hundred metres away, I'm going to have to hit them with two shots to kill them. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ask and ye shall receive, right? Like, now, if I fire, let's say I range it wrong and I realise it's, I don't know, it's 700 and I was ranged to six. I can then re-range and have another dig, you know. Is this the Running Man's Only Fans page? I finally made it. Thanks for all the content. Nom nom nom. Thank you. Uh, worthless. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. So right now, what I'm thinking is try and find a press vest or a stab vest. And then I'm going to go and get on the prison and try and find the dude what tried to snipe me. That's my immediate plan. Got to be really careful with Zeds. The, the zombies are a big threat for me right now. Is it worth keeping my eye on my body isn't? PFG, all I'm trying to do right now is get a stab vest and do exactly that. So I wanted bullets, I've got bullets, I'd really like something that will help me tank a shot. Now if I get shot right now I'll die, but say I got back to somewhere near yellow health approaching white, if I had a stab vest on that would stop me dying from a longer range shot. So uh, I'm just trying to find a stab vest or a press vest and then I'm going straight to the prison roof so I can have a look back to where I fell. Now, because of the restart, there's not so much of a point because he won't be looking for where I fell, I guess. Thank you very much. Cheers from Michigan. Dude, thank you. Hope you're well. Thanks for the support. Uh, Yari, thank you for the follow. Debbie swears. Debbie, hope you're good. Sorry it's took me a while to see it. It's been a bit uh, bit hectic with you getting shot and nearly dying business. But Spirit of Mountains, don't call me out. Thanks again. Debbie and Wisp, thanks for your super entertaining streams and YouTube videos. Oh, dude, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Uh, cheers for the support, all of you guys. Thank you. People are getting timed out for three emotes. What, on, on Twitch? I haven't changed anything. That's really weird. Is it three emotes because they're capitalised, Redline? Some people spell their emotes in capitals, and it's really kind of, that, That's normally what it is. Uh, like, even... <laughs> well, that... that uh, yeah, well... It will also mean that people can then do all caps posts, won't it? That's the flip side. Uh, 
Uh... Hey Stanky, yeah, I've played with Smoke in the past. There's actually a video of me on my YouTube channel from years ago playing with Smoke. It's called The Foul Sniper. It's in the old game, but if you have a look on YouTube and search for my channel for... If you just if you just search Google for the Foul Sniper, it'll probably come up, or the Foul Sniper DayZ, uh, and that there's a video of me playing with smoke, probably six seven years ago now. Trying to get back in. Oh, it's already up. That's that's quicker than I thought. Uh, Smoke is not a Rainbow Six YouTuber, no. Smoke does videos on Tarkov and Daisy. So Smoke is a streamer that started to do YouTube afterwards. Uh, and he has an editor and bangs out videos pretty, re pretty reliably, you know. He's doing, doing pretty well on YouTube and fair play to him as well. Decent. Uh, but yeah, he started as a Twitch streamer and also does YouTube now too. And a very, very... Massively successful and deservedly so streamer he is too. Oh, they're making me work for these 9mm rounds, aren't they? I need to get the MP5 loaded. I don't know what I need that for, but... Go, go. Oh, it's damaged as well. That sucks. So the zombies aren't here, but they should be popping in any second. You can sometimes get uh, vests off of zombies, although they're very often prison zombies, but there's normally prison officer zombies knocking around. I, I could do with a... Uh, I could do with a stab vest, like, really quite badly. On that subject, let's get rid of you, and we'll get rid of you for now. Just putting them down there. I don't really need the NBC loot, but I'm going to take it for now. I was going to avoid 19. the bridge, like going over the bridge could get me killed, but uh, the two green PD sheds are both excellent places to find stab vests. Oh, wow, a grenade, that's pretty good. The only problem is I can't put it on the... Uh, I can't put it on the... The vest, because the vest is ruined. That's one of the few times ever that I've remembered to put the canteen on the belt all by my lonesome. That's a rarity. Starting to get dark, I'm not going to get very long to try and snipe this dude. It's not the best condition one, but at least it's one. Ah. 
fucking hell did you get through? Doesn't he really shut you out, you fucking bastard? My first time staying sub to someone. Loving the content. Thank you. Chucky, thank you. Cheers for the resubscribing. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I think this area over here got gassed. Can't see the gas from here. But Shocky, thank you. Shocky Fox, thank you. Uh, darts in the dark. Thank you for the 19 months shit. Thank you for the bits. The tree's kind of annoying. A step. I really thought I heard a step below me, but it's probably a zombie, but. Yeah, I thought I got shot from the prison, but I think it was I think it was more from behind. It was a while ago now though, so I suspect they're probably long gone. I think it was more if it can't have been directly from behind because they would have followed up and killed me. I uh, I think it I died on I got knocked on the conscience. I think it was from more over this side. It was it was like from around here behind one of the rocks or on there or something like that. Which is where that shot then came from later. Full hand Luke, thank you for the gifted sub. Lord, uh, Lord Tabernak, thank you very much for the prime. And uh, DMC Jacks, dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. That's very generous, man. Thank you. This is where I could do with a... Uh, A rangefinder, which I have got, but I don't think I've got a battery. No battery. Just going to give it a little minute. I'm yellow health now, which is good. I just don't feel like the dude will have moved very far. I feel like they might still be knocking around. It's kind of weird there's... Oh, I was going to say there's no zombies. There are one or two, but there's not that many Zeds. Perhaps it's just where they've spawned. I wonder if that's the best way to come, you know, like on the edge there. One sec, guys. Sorry guys, I'm just shouting down to the missus. Where the wind was blowing, I couldn't have a fucking couldn't hear what she was saying. See the sky looks sorry, the sea looks good. 
don't know about that shadow. Right, I think we ain't going to find him, are we? We ain't going to see him. He's not... I think if, it were, if the player was still around, I feel like they probably would have shot at me now, but I don't know. It was probably 20 minutes ago. No, my luck. We'll, we'll get vaguely geared and we'll travel back over. And as we get back over, they'll shoot me again. They just ain't here now. Get his scalp. I would very much like to, Ethical. Oh, fuck me. Fucking hell. in that one. Just taking all the bullets. I, I don't need an SSG. We've got a... Uh, we've got a blaze. So I, I definitely don't need the SSG. However, it could come in handy for... Uh, kind of weird that the loot's on the stairs like that, but... It could come in handy for an, for an assault rifle of some sort, so we might as well have them. It's all right. I was going to say I saw one. There it is. Uh, Buzzer, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Uh, VW Tank or TK, thank you very much for the resub. Hey, Jegscraft, hope you're good, dude. Thanks for coming in. We are working hard for our, uh, for our loops right about now. I, I don't know why I've not already done that. Should have done that ages ago. Just taking the blitz out of the Makarov mag and stuck them in the stuck them in the bison. Zombie nearly had me again. Gonna get that that AK-101 mag loaded, one uh, one bullet at a time at this rate. Is the bison good? It's great for killing Zeds if you can get a suppressor, because you get so many bullets in the mag. But it's not the best gun in the world. It it really ain't that bad. None of the gun none of the guns are bad against players really. Like if if a player's wearing a helmet and you hit them in the head with a bison, they're gonna go unconscious. So uh, at closer range that is. So. All of the guns are kind of okay in the right scenario. You just have to land the shots. But the Bison's all right. We've had a few gear. I've killed some fully geared players with the Bison over the, over the time it's been in. But you certainly wouldn't take it over any of the other SMGs, except for maybe the Scorpion. But yeah, I, you'd rather have uh, an MP5, a UMP, or anything else better. Still hoping we might find a better condition press vest. Just close these up as we go. We also need to load the bison with more bullets. Getting a bit bored of loading bullets at the moment, if I'm honest. This is taking too long. But it's worth it. Uh, 
cheers for the for the super chat once again, ethical dude. Thank you. That feels a little bit more like it, doesn't it? Fifty-four bullets in there. So it's a worse helmet, but it looks better. I, I have to take that. That helmet's so much cooler, right? Yes, it's damaged, but so what? It'll still protect me from, from one hit. Or help me be protected from one hit. That's what matters. This door is really fucking around. running. Zorinto, cheers for the support. Thank you very much for the uh, two month inning, dude. Quite like an SKS in here. That would that would make me feel good. one's in the best condition worn. I'm going to keep a Glock. I'm going to ditch the MP5 because we definitely don't need it anymore. Actually don't have any SKS rounds so it's not quite as powerful as I'm making out right now but I'm still doing it. Five bullets. still take the fishing rod for now but probably don't need to let's just use the knife and get rid of that we'll get rid of the steak knife Cheers, Ethical. Uh, cheers for coming in and catching the streams, dude. Bingo was his name, oh, eh? Yeah, maybe I should have asked for a DMR TQ. We might have got one of those, might we? <laughs> instead of instead of wishing on an SKS, it should have been wishing on a on a DMR. I, I I tend to I tend to ask for things I know can spawn. You know, like I I tend to stick to realistic goals. You know. Maybe if I if I reached for the uh, reached for the stars, I might hit the moon, though, eh? <laughs> but yeah, I, the SKS can spawn in there, but no no DMR can spawn in there, I suppose. Hmm. I don't really need that, but I'll take it. Somebody could have left a DMR there. Can you think of any scenario where you would intentionally leave a DMR on the prison island? Other than, I just want to be charitable and leave a nice DMR for some lucky bastard. You killed someone with a better DMR. That that's that's about the only one, yeah. I wonder how many DMR versus DMR fights there's been on Prison Island. I feel like there wouldn't be very many. Because people with DMRs don't normally bother with Prison Island. There's nothing here for them. One sec, guys. I'm going to put my uh, eye drops in. My eyes are getting a bit watery. Didn't do it. I didn't do it at the start of the stream today, and I normally do. I probably should have. Uh, Zorinto, thank you very much once again. 
A roaming gang of RPing pitchfork pirates. Blimey. That's very specific. Arr. Still kind of hoping we might find a stab vest that's in better condition. Nope. How did uh, Muller and I meet? Yeah, on Tinder. Attach PU scope to the SKS. Uh, no. I don't need the PU scope on the SKS. I kind of probably could just ditch the PU scope, but I've, I've got a blaze with the scope on it, dude. The, the, the SKS is for mid-range and short-range. It's, it's not for uh, it's not for long-range. I've, I've got a blaze for that with, with more bullets as well. PU on the SKS is great if it's your, if it's your long-range gun, but obviously it's not my long-range gun, so... Don't need it. He really was still there. I'd be, uh, I'd be dead. I think the server restart may have caused that player to uh, fuck off, cut. Box of bullets on the top catwalk. Was there? I guess I was only keeping an eye out for guns. I didn't really. Uh There'll probably be 380, but I can use them if there was. Yep. Loving the streams. Any tips on learning my web out? Just started playing DayZ on Xbox a few days ago, and I never know where I am laughing face. Calixtus, if you if you're brand new to the game, there's nothing wrong with using an external map like I Survive and like planning your route. Like have a look on your phone or your tablet or whatever and plan your route. And then uh, when you've done that, follow the route through. You know, like. But the, the best way to know where you are is to just keep playing the game. You're not learning the map. You're learning a loop route. So pick a destination that suits. I would suggest if you're playing Chernerus, you pick either Tissy or the Northwest Airfield. So your final destination is Tissy or the Northwest Airfield. And from every spawn, try to make your way towards that. And then what you what you do is learn loot routes, not the map. And those loot routes, loot routes kind of interweave into each other and then you start to know the map. That's, that's kind of how it works, dude. So don't, don't stress the map too much, just learn the loot routes. The bison isn't 380. Okay, if you say so. I've just loaded a shitload of 380 into it, but you know best. It definitely is 380, dude. I see at the end of the about section where it says it uses 0.380 ACP. Do you have anything you've discovered for yourself to help spot people? I've heard bigger screen, higher res. Uh, I don't... A bigger screen in theory could help, but it also makes it a little bit harder in other ways. So a bigger screen can help in some ways, but the downside is that you've got so much more screen you can miss obvious stuff more likely. Let's say you're on a desk and you've got a really big monitor, like a, it's only like an arm's length away and you've got a 32 or bigger monitor. You can be looking on the left half and a player can run on the right half, but because the screen is bigger, you just don't see it the same. So there is a balance between monitor size and spotting players where things actually can become worse, not better in a way, you know, like if you're looking on the left edge of the monitor because you thought you saw something, then something on the right, you're going to completely miss it, you know. 
I think the, the, the best way to spot players is experiencing the map more than anything else. The more you play a map, the more you play a the more you play a particular map, the more you know where players are likely to be. Uh, you spot players as much with your game sense and your game experience than you, as you do anything else. I know you didn't ask me, but once I got my 35-inch ultra wide, I find it really hard to spot players. Exactly because of what, what I'm kind of talking about. I don't think we should be able to put random calibers into put into guns and hope they work. 18 months time flies. Hope you are well, Captain. Uh, futurism, thank you very much. Hope you're good as well. Thanks for the support, dude. Thank you. That's kind of cool. Look, this time I am going dark blue. But it doesn't matter as much because I'm not red health anymore. Uh, futurism, thank you. Calixtus, uh, cheers for the two month inning. Jefferson, thank you for the bits. Uh, it took me a little while to see those, dude. Thank you. Oh, well, that's great. That wasn't part of my plan. Believe it or not, I was actually going to that little corner there so I could wring my clothes out and stop being cold. And my reward for trying to do the right thing was this. GG, Paul. That looks good over there, doesn't it? kind of a bit of a bug with the lighting I think there's there's no like huge base over there <laughs> there's a massive fucking like festival over that hill there I think by the look of it Bob Ross used a bit of a fancy colour with his fan brush on those ones Right, I'm going to uh, switch to the gamma filter on OBS. There we go. As we're getting night time, might as well. See, just trying out those two things has stopped me being light blue. That's kind of a big deal. Do I like the new sound? It does sound like you've got real bad squits, but yeah, I think it's all right. It's not like the lip smacking one, it doesn't really annoy me. Lyris, there's loads of filters in OBS, dude. Yeah. You can you can have uh you can If you right click on the uh on the source you can add all sorts of different filters. You can have all sorts of sound filters and video filters and different things, yeah, so I've just got one uh, one scene set up with Daisy as standard, and then one scene set up with Daisy with uh, an increase in gamma to make nighttime look a little bit better. But we'd have to buy a stream deck for that. You can you can change scenes with hotkeys with OBS. So. so I kind of just came over this hill. I was more over this way. I don't fully understand where I got shot from. <clears throat> I've just dried my trousers out. That might not have been the most sensible thing to have done. I knocked Tempest, dude. Did I ever try Streamlabs? Uh, I did, Dave. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's so fucking frustrating.
So I ran over that water earlier, but now for whatever reason as I went through it this time, the tides come fucking in or something, and now I'm getting fucking wet. The new sound for ringing out clothes sounds remarkably like you are milking a goat into a stainless steel bucket. Added to bring back such fond memories, don't you find? <laughs> if you say so, I've never had a stainless steel bucket or a goat. Plastic for me, dude. I'm the kind of dude that has a plastic bucket. That's it. And it usually sits on the patio full of rainwater. Uh, GG Jack. First kill at the airfield. No mean feat. GG dude. Thank you for the bits. Now I've got to do it again. Yeah, I've used Streamlabs in the past, David. There is uh, quite a lot of extra things you can do with OBS with plugins for multi-streaming. So, uh, at the moment, it, OBS are probably caught up now. Sorry, Streamlabs are probably caught up now. But OBS have got a lot more open source functionality. So, if there's a way to multi-stream, OBS will normally get it first, you know. Paul milks a bull into a cereal bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Uh, head tea ball. Cheers for the bits, dude. Thank you. I hate how some nights in days you can't even see the ground. Vish, that's that's really down to the server. So this particular server is using the lighter night modes, like third person night. Uh, some servers you'd use proper dark nights like first person Daisy has so it's not really like some nights some nights are slightly darker than others but really it's down to how the server is set so for example if you sp play on Spaggy's vanilla it's using vanilla night time for first person so it's properly dark uh, this particular server is using lighter night so you can still see quite well Hi Adam, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Hatred, can I put a de decor, on, decor on my bike saying sub to the running mans, if you want. You can put on the other side if you know what's good for you. Or uh, fuck are you if you don't, or something, I don't know. ASMR of TMZ and Emily Blunt meet up. Ooh. You'd never have heard Emily so excited for 30 seconds. Has anyone ever gotten a TMZ tattoo? At least one person has, yeah. Mr. Liras, well, it was just in the chat. I, I do quite like Emily Blunt, yeah. Emily Blunt is my allowable celebrity crush, right? Doesn't make any difference, but you know what I mean. Like, my missus has, my missus quite likes Matt Damon. She likes, she likes a few actually. She's, she's not afraid to admit it. She likes Ben Froggle. If you know who Ben Fogel is, she likes Ben Froggle as well. Do I have any tattoos? I don't, Gen, Gen Z, no. I, my, my skin tends to expand and contract with my waistline too much. So, I, I don't... <laughs> I, I don't think tattoos would be very good for me, because it would be a lot like blowing up a balloon and then it shriveling back down again. Mr. Liras, that's the idea. Yeah, I'm hoping to shoutcast it. Yeah, I've got to have a bit of a practice on how to do it. But can't stand that posh idiot Foggle. He's all right. I don't. The shows are a bit dull. He's quite a. He's quite. He might be a bit posh, but he's he's quite good at like relating to people. I don't mind I don't dislike him. He's a bit bland, but 
he is he is a bit of a dude, you know. Like he's done quite a lot of things. He's rode across he rode across the Atlantic, didn't he, with uh, one of the Olympic rowers. And uh, he's done a lot of things. He's done quite a lot of survival stuff. I, I couldn't do most of the stuff he's done, you know. Like I, 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 I get really in trouble if the remote control is on the wrong side of the sofa, you know. If I have to go on an expedition to the other side of the sofa to turn the TV on, I'm fucking pissed off and knackered. Now he's not, he's not like an uber survivalist, like. Uh, Ray Mears or something, but he is he's pretty good, he's pretty outdoorsy, he's kinda cool. Who's the, what's the one that I I can't even remember the name of the one I like. I've not seen one of his shows for ages. The one that does the races against other survivalists is fucking insanely cool. I re I really need to get hold of Discovery so I can watch his shows. I don't need a BK Magum, I've I've got a an SKS and a and a Blaze. He did the uh, he did the show where he went homeless for a, a month, which was a very interesting show actually. Went to London, uh, I think Manchester or Birmingham and and Glasgow. Ed Stafford, well done, Dan. Ed Stafford, I I really like his shows. He's a fucking dude. I'd quite like to be Ed Stafford. Don't think I want to be in there though. It's Ed Stafford. Little John, GG, you got there as well. The decals have been ordered. <laughs> Just for the resub, little John, thank you. So I had a quick look on the coast there. There's a there's a convoy spawn back there. I had a quick look from the uh from from the prison well from the mount like the little islands as we came back. There was no convoy there. Uh, Dabnet, I haven't really heard them. I, I don't mind Ricky Gervais. I quite like one or two of the TV shows. I don't mind the stand-up. I thought Ricky Gervais's last Netflix special was kind of turgid, if I'm honest, but that's just my view. But I, I'm not huge enough of a fan of it, uh, Ricky Gervais to listen to his uh, the podcast and stuff. I quite like him. If there was one on, I'd probably enjoy it a bit, but oh, this is interesting. I feel like somebody's probably been through. I doubt we caused that pair to spawn. But maybe the dude that shot me has possibly been through. Uh, if, if you with BT Broadband, I'm sure you can get TNT and Discovery Plus free if you sign up. Interesting. I don't get anything. I, we are on BT, but we don't get anything like... When they first did BT, they used to get all of the BT Sport for free, didn't you? But they, they soon fucking stopped that, didn't they? Did I enjoy his Oscars rants? Uh, if you mean the, uh, when he's done the presentation, he's, he's done presenting of the, uh, Grammys, I think, hasn't he? A few times, five times. He's normally pretty funny at that. You know, I quite like how he is kind of out there, and I, I, I quite like it. I do quite like Ricky Gervais. I just, I, I'm not a huge fan. I think he's quite funny. If something's on the telly and he's in it, I watch it. It's all right, but I'm not like such an avid fan. I must see every single thing, you know. Oh, it's the Golden Globes that he he does, is it? I don't really know the difference between the Golden Globes and the Emmys, if I'm honest. I don't really know. I've never really seen any of them. One's for TV and one's for what? Virgin Media are currently ex ex installing their broadband network outside my house. Any of you guys on Virgin Fibre? Mm. Me and the missus got vaguely excited about a house uh, this week that we would like to move to. Uh, 
we got all excited. We had a little look. I'm not going to say where it is, but, but it doesn't really matter because it's no good. Anyway, uh, before even going to book a view in, I checked the internet and it doesn't get full fibre, so we can't, <laughs> we can't move there. <laughs> it's no full fibre. I, I I can't I have to have uh, I have to have full fiber internet I can't stream otherwise. Starlink isn't quick enough, James. Uh, Starlink's upload speed is not quick enough to stream like I do. I think I had actually I have a little look. Uh, Starlink is about uh, twenty up. I need more than that, dude. I, I'm streaming to YouTube with eighteen to twenty. Never mind Twitch. You know I, the upload speed is not enough. My upload speed now is about 110. Uh, AJ Nagano, who, who do you have winning? AJ. Easy. I almost hope I'm proved wrong, because I like N N Nagano. I think he's a cool dude. And I think his story is amazing. But nonetheless, I think AJ will, will, will win it and probably win it easily. And I, I almost don't mind if I'm proved wrong. Because, I, like I say, Nganu's story is insane. So what I thought was gas was actually a heli. Sorry guys, I'm not I'm not looking at the chat right now. If I'm seeing, I, I just seen half of a question, but I I need to uh, I need to look at the game just for a bit. I think. Wish I had a suppressor. I think I'm going to have to do the tents first, because if I don't, I'm going to have to shoot all the zombies straight away, and I don't really want to do that. I don't see me getting down there, and I, like it's too bit too open of a field. It's too risky to. Uh, it feels too risky to go down there and start trying to melee or knife stealth attack those Zeds. I think a better approach is to go and try and kill some of the Zeds in the base with a with an axe or whatever a knife, and then I'll shoot the zombies like. If I have to shoot the zombies just as I'm looting the heli, at least I'm running away straight away. Whereas if I do it now, I then want to go and loot the tents. And that wouldn't be smart. AJ is getting carried out of that ring. We'll see, Jambon. AJ is not the fastest fighter, but he is going to look fast against Nganu. I, I, I just I don't see it. I think uh, Nganu's story is amazing. He's a really strong, powerful dude. And and I almost kind of want to see it. I want to see him win in a way because, like I say, I think his story is great. And I think, as far as the story goes for boxing, I think it would be crazy if he did. Uh, but he won't. He won't. I'm sorry to say. And, and maybe I'm wrong. You know, I already I already wrote him off when he fought Fury, and he certainly did well in that fight and deserved to win it. But I think that's more. That says more about Fury for me personally than it says about Ngannou. And I'm a Fury fan, just Fury was massively undercooked. <laughs> and Garnu looked strong against Fury, and he and Fury likes to kind of lean on fighters and use his weight and use his bulk. And Nganu looked stronger than Fury and, and able to move him around, which Fury has never experienced before. Uh, Joshua doesn't fight that way. Joshua is more of a like a one-two puncher. and uh, He's not anywhere near as good as Fury, but he would be properly tuned up for it. And uh, I, think Fury, I think Joshua will win it. I think Joshua, I think Joshua is going to look good on Friday. He looked pretty decent in his last fight. I think he'll look pretty decent in his next fight too. This feels quite dangerous looting this in the dark, but 
That's kind of what we're here for. I, I need SKS rounds. I don't think Fury trains to be the best he can be. I think he trains to, to the guy he's fighting. Well, I think that's true, Piston Broke, but I think that meant that he didn't train for Nganu. He, he turned up the fattest he's ever been. He looked like he said he'd been training for 12 or 13 weeks. He definitely hadn't, you know. That was horseshit of the highest order, you know. You can see he hadn't been training, you know. He hadn't. He'd not been in a training camp. I think Fury, I think you're partially right, but... What that means is Fury trains for the person he's fighting. That, to me, means he either tries or he doesn't. I don't think that means he tailors his training for the type of boxer he's training. When he was fighting Wilder, Wilder was the champion. He drew the first fight. For Wilder 2, he was he trained to be his absolute best. He was fitter, he was leaner, he was much, ready, much more ready, you know. When he's fighting uh, Dillian White and Derek Chisora, these are... They, they're great. In their own right, in the grand scheme of things, they're really good fighters. But in the top level, in the level that, that Fury is in, and Joshua is in, and Usyk is in, they're not in that tier. They're, they're, they're second tier boxers. Much better than I'll ever be at anything, so I'm trying, not, I'm trying not to be too bad about them. But nonetheless, I think what happens is Fury knows he's got somebody to beat, so he turns up half-baked and beats him anyway. That's, that's actually what happens. And he was fighting... And Garnu, who's a big, clumsy UFC fighter, who he, who he believes he can just easily box out the way. And he underestimated him massively. And he turned up undercooked and, and nearly lost a, as a result. I think, to me, that's what happened. You should be focusing on the game at the moment. I kind of am a little bit, dude, but... When I'm shipping a mag, or when I'm killing a zombie, it doesn't require a great deal of my attention, to be honest. So I'm doing my best to look at the hill. You're right, I'm, I might get killed as a result, but... The zombies and the uh, the looting... ...don't take a great deal of concentration. And I am constantly looking up at the hill towards the heli and trying my best, that's weird. That's really weird. 30. I'm going to leave that. I don't even want to ship the bullets out. Find a, third, a full 30 round mag. That feels like it was dropped. Darbna, I, you can't believe Fury underestimated him. There's just so much difference. I, I, I think Fury is very confident, and there's so much difference between punching in the UFC and punching in boxing. However, the bit that he really shouldn't have underestimated Ungarnu for, Ungarnu, I, I know he did well, but he looked slow. He looked slow. He didn't. He looked slow. His punches were slow. You could see. You could see on the telly when the punches were coming. You could. Most of his punches were telegraphed. They weren't particularly hard to spot and see coming. And for a, a decent, good quality, long training boxer, they, they won't be too hard to, to see what's coming and to adjust accordingly, right? Uh, but what Fury couldn't do is bully him. I already dropped a bit for that, which is kind of annoying. And it really very close to costing Fury, because he... Fury very often, when he's undercooked, relies on his bulk and he kind of leans on other boxers and just... He he beasts them with his size and his his weight and his height and he leans on people and he drains them without really requiring very much effort. And he couldn't do that to Nganu. Nganu was kind of like, like bullying him. But as an actual boxer, Nganu's got lots and lots of power and that gives him a puncher's chance. But he's very slow, and as a premium boxer, he ain't there. That level I was just talking about, in terms of actual boxing ability, he's not as good as Dillian White. That doesn't mean he can't beat Dillian White. He might do. But in terms of just raw boxing ability, properly with gloves on playing, uh, with the rules of boxing, he's not in the top tier of boxing. Yeah, there's a holster. I guess I could have I used the belt. I could have used the belt, I suppose. 
I might just drop that anyway. Always a pleasure to follow you, Zed. That's my opinion, though. I might be wrong, and we might find out on Friday that he's actually a lot better. And Garni would take the top two boxers 2v1 in an MMA fight. Well, but he's bo he's fighting boxers at boxing, though. That's the point. And that's that. That's a given, isn't it? You know, like that. That's kind of obvious in a way. You know, like if you, uh, I don't know, the best comparison I can I can think of. If you've got an out and out power lifter that only does. I don't know, one particular lift, you know, whatever it might be. The clean and jerk, I think that's one. If you've got someone that's trained their whole life to do that particular thing, they're going to be doing that better than the world's strongest man. But if you try and put that power lifter into the world's strongest man and make him compete, that he'd have no chance, would he? he wouldn't, he'd have no chance at all. And that's the same kind of comparison with boxing and UFC. They, there's transferable skills, but if you've trained your entire life to be a boxer... That's going to be a big advantage when you're in a boxing ring. We'll see, though. I, like, like I say, I almost kind of hope I'm wrong, but I think we'll uh, we'll see a different fight. I think I think we'll see more likely to see Ungarnu. I think there's going to be two ways the fight could go. If if, if you say that both can win, either. Joshua is winning it and Ngannou knocks him out, which could happen. Or Ngannou looks slow and Joshua absolutely kind of bosses the ring, uses his years of boxing experience to pepper him with shots because he's much quicker and he moves like a boxer in a way that Ngannou doesn't. Couldn't disagree more. Joshua is getting knocked out badly. We shall see. I'm, I'm excited to see, but my opinion is that Ngannou's a slow MMA fighter who is an amazing... Slow as a boxer. He's an amazing athletic, like, amazing dude. And he did great the other day. And I know I'm giving him pelters, and I'm trying not to, because, like, like, he's clearly the best at his division in MMA by a mile, and he's incredibly ferocious. But when you've got gloves on and you're punching like a boxer, he's slow. That's, all, that's it. He is. He's slow. I think Joshua will beat him and beat him easy, but we shall see. Right, we're going to go and have a look for a convoy this way then, I suppose. Someday I'll ask a boxing champion if I can put a canteen on his bell. <laughs> Joshua has no chin. I don't know. He, he had a bit of a chin when he fought Klitschko and was in, in trouble and then won it. I, I, I think it's harsh to say he has no chin. He's been punched very, very hard and gone down. He's been punched very, very hard and carried on. But, like, he's been hit by, uh, he's been hit by some good fighters and, and, and won the fight. He was in a bit of trouble against Klitschko and he won it, you know, like, and Klitschko maybe wasn't quite at his best anymore, but it's hard to say. But yeah, I, I think it's it's harsh to say he's definitely not there anymore because he got uh, chinned by Ruiz, who was very, very powerful and hit him clean, you know. Is that a bit of loot on the ground there? I don't think it is. Bo Hunter, that might be the case, you know. The fight against Fury may well massively improve him for the next fight, you know. Going those rounds and, and having the, the actual experience in the ring may well help him loads. It might do. I was actually quite impressed with Joshua in his last fight. I know maybe his opponent was not so hard. Was it Hellenus? I can't even remember the name of the other dude. But Joshua looked pretty decent. He looked like he was fighting with a plan. He looked like he had a little bit of self-belief again. And I, I don't know, we'll see. I, I don't think Joshua is in the same level as Fury and Usyk. But I think he's good enough to beat Ngannou if he's tuned. Scottish G, we've talked about that a lot. I, obviously, I hope Tyson wins in, an, in a massive way. That would be really funny, but I don't know. 
Usyk will smack them all. Yeah, I can't wait till May the 18th. I think Fury will piss all over Usyk, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I know, I, I, I know it's all about opinions, but I, I think Usyk... It, Usyk's a really great pugilist, but I... Where Fury struggled a little bit against Ungarnu, he won't struggle against Usyk. He'll be able to bully Usyk. He'll be able to move him around in the ring however he wants. Usyk is not a small dude. He's like six foot two, but standing next to Fury, Fury's going to be able to boss him. Usyk is perfect for Fury. He's an amazing boxer, but Fury will be able to bully him. Usyk's not got, like, crazy power. Like, probably the main thing that Fury's really susceptible to is proper, proper power. He's not going to face that with someone moving up from cruiserweight. Fireball, I, I think there's there's not so much chance, to be honest, but I, we'll see. I, th I think Jake Paul will probably look pretty good against Mike Tyson, which is kind of sad in a way, but I really hope Mike Tyson wins it. Jambon, yeah, at, at Fury looked properly fit for it. Like, if you look at the picture of Fury when he got that cut, if you look at how he looks and how fit he looks compared to how he looked when he fought when he fought uh, uh, Ngannou, the difference is like night and day. Will Siegelner, it's all about opinions. I, I, there is a chance that he could knock out Joshua. Right? If Ngannou's going to win, it's likely to be a knockout. We'll see, Bad Obo. We'll see. I think the biggest problem for Fury is motivation. I, I really think, like, after he uh, after he beat Wilder, he's basically coasted along. He's avoided the tough fights because the money wasn't right for him. So he hasn't fought Usyk and he's not fought Joshua. He's had easy fights against people that he knew he could easily beat, some of whom he'd already beaten easily. And so, I, 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 I could be wrong, but... I genuinely feel like Fury is the sort that if he's got a challenge and he knows he's in a fight, he'll really do the business, he'll do the hard yards and turn up ready. But if he hasn't, he'll just turn up and win anyway. Bicycle, I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus fight, does it?
I, I think it will happen pro Philistine. I think it will definitely happen. If that's the case, he should be fighting for Legacy and should have already fought AJ. Well, I, I think he's been fighting for money. AJ, it's AJ, sorry, Fury's quite a smart dude. He's had a few chances to try and fight Usyk and uh, Joshua before. He hasn't done it because the money hasn't been there, you know. He's waited until the money... Like, there was rumblings about him possibly fighting AJ a while ago. And it would have been in London. And it wouldn't have... It wouldn't have like, so I think he then fought Dillian... No, he fought uh, Chisora instead. Like, he, he filled up Wembley, he makes another payday. The reason he's not fighting Joshua in London, or Usyk in London, or wherever, is because he was waiting for the hundreds of million from Saudi Arabia. He knew it was coming. I really think he's waited for the right money. If, if you've got... If you've got the belief that you can beat a, a fighter, and, and you can do it, why do it for, say, 30 million, when you could do the same fight for 80 million? No, like those, those are made up numbers, but that's basically the equation. I, I think he's waited until he can do the same thing for the most amount of money. I really do. I think that's what he's done. Exactly, Jambon. You can see how, like, Joshua's got this fight against Ngannou. If he wins it, and then. AJ, then Fury's got this fight against uh, Usyk, if he wins that. Then there'll be a, a fight between Joshua and uh, and Fury. It'll be in Saudi Arabia, and it'll be fucking crazy money. It'll be even more money than the fight against Usyk will be. And that's why he's done it that way. He's done it to make the most amount of money with the fight. No, no, well, clearly he didn't retire, did he? You know, that's just that's just talk, isn't it? You know, he, he, if you've watched that documentary, there's a Netflix documentary on Fury that kind of covers the period where he was retiring. You could tell he wasn't retiring. He could tell it. He knew he wasn't retiring. But guess what? It got some bums on seats and made sure that Dillian White's fight at Wembley sold out because he said he was retiring while the tickets were about to go on sale. You know, like... I wonder why somebody might promote their own fight. It's a shocker, isn't it? Maybe the Miley Cyrus Taylor Swift fight that I don't even know why it needs to happen, but I mean, maybe there's beef, but I don't know. I don't follow the. Uh I don't follow the goss. But yeah, maybe they could have the uh, the fight in the halftime show of the next Super Bowl. When when the KC Swifts get to the next Super Bowl, they could have that as the halftime show. Dale, I absolutely do think Francis and Gardu can catch him, yeah. We'll see. I think... I think Ruiz versus Nganu would be a more interesting fight to watch. Road Trooper, they'd just shake hands and walk off with the prize money, wouldn't they? Where's my belt at?
Oh, this is Frankie. No thanks. Where are all the players at? Uh, not where I'm at now, Jacob. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. You know, thank you for yeah. the 26 months. Velvet Monkey, thank you. Some Serb, Swivel, ECNS, uh, Sybil, Frenchie, uh, always a pleasure. Thank you for the support, guys. Uh, I'm getting to your question, Shid. Uh, <clears throat> cheers for the bits, by the way. The question was, does running in the rain have any negative effect on your character? <laughs> yes and no. The negative effect, I guess, comes from... Uh, I thought it was more this way. The negative effect of the water is that you're likely to be light blue. Sometimes the act of running can stop you being light blue, so that would help you. So if you light blue temperature, you burn through your energy more quickly. You're going to need to eat a hell of a lot more. I'm just going to turn that down. It's really getting on my nerves. But yeah, if you light blue energy, sorry, light blue temperature, you're burning through food and you have to eat and drink shit loads more. And it, it, it really is massive, like three times more, something like that. So by sprinting, sometimes you could offset that and be white temperature and that would actually help. But, excuse me, assuming it's not and you're still light blue, then by running, you're burning more energy because you're running and you're also burning more because you're uh, cold. So you're going to need to eat and drink a lot more. But beyond that, it makes no difference. You know, it's just about how much calories you consume. Up next in Ganu versus Paul Tierney. <laughs> Why would you like to be light blue? Well, you wouldn't, Sturu, but if it's raining, you don't have any choice unless you're going to sit inside bored out of your brains, you know? You're going to be light blue. Light blue. I may not find this heli. I've not done the best job of tracking it, I don't think, but I think we're going vaguely the right way. Can you get sick from being light blue? Yes, you can catch a cold. Or the flu, I think. Easy, the time to start running is still there. It just doesn't do it for resubs anymore, because I just thought it would... When I started streaming on YouTube, it meant more alerts and more more activations of the little alert thing in the top corner, right? So I made resubs make... Robot Lady comes in, but other than that, it, resubs don't make an alert sound anymore. Just because there was going to be more of everything with YouTube and whatnot, it just seemed like a good way to tone it down a touch. I definitely don't think it should, Laszlo, myself. I don't think a bit of rain should store... Like, on, on the mouse, when you have a cold event or a storm, you're freezing, and that makes sense, you know? All this is is some rain, you know? Like, I, I don't think it should do the same. I, I'm glad it doesn't, if I'm honest. It would be really frustrating if it did. I think we might be close. There's a helicopter crash site just around to the left. I bet it's at that one. If you lost health just because you're out in a rain shower, I think it would be really annoying. There is a compounding effect to, uh, an air fry yet? to being light blue that you, that you will have to deal with in terms of energy consumption and whatnot, but... I don't think it should be like the mouse where you're starting to get frostbite or you're starting to really lose health because there is no way to combat it. You'd have to go into a house, make a fire, and then you could only travel for seven or eight minutes before you had to go into a house and make a fire. It'd be utterly tedious. I'm quite impressed with myself, to be, to be honest there. I don't think it would be more survivally, Laszlo, because you can't combat rain, you know, like... You'd literally dry yourself off, go back out in the rain again. It would it would just be dull. In my opinion, you know. I think it would be really dull. This is looking like a good result, Salty. 2-0 already. Like the idea that every time it rains you have to go and hide in a house. The map's big enough as it is. I just... That, that, 
that wouldn't be for me personally. I think it would be really, really annoying. Don't want the MBGs. my knife I'm not on the hot bar where are you fuck me this is going well now I've got a bandage at the fucking heli as well it's also my last bandage And I've just premature, prematurely ended the bandaging. Fuck me dead, I'm doing well. Fireman suit for the rate. It doesn't really make a lot of difference, dude. When when you're cold, you're cold. Like, the, the fireman suit only gets damp, but you still end up getting cold. More often than not, it do, doesn't actually do much. Make sure I haven't missed anything. I don't want the MVG scope, like I was saying before. All right, let's go this way. This has been a pretty good heli, actually. When we get to a bush, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. I'd quite like to use the AKM in the long term, but I don't have a mag. I don't have a cleaning kit. It's not quite viable right now. And I've got too much other shit to carry it as well as everything else. I'm struggling a bit. You've got an org mag, that's why I picked up the org, dude. I wouldn't have picked up the org otherwise, because I don't particularly like it. But that's where my thought process is going, you know. Maybe I could drop the SKS, use the org for now, keep the AK on my back, in the hope of finding a mag and, and stuff to fix it in a bit. Org is surely better than an SKS. Meh, not sure about that. It's not as powerful. It's also uh, damaged. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced it is better. I think this might prove to be a mistake, in fact, to be honest. But anyway, I'm still doing it. It's already got one in it, fuck me. There is uh, there is a bit of debate to be had on which is better, but I, I personally think I'd probably rather have the... Uh, I'd, I'd rather have the SKS, but I'd rather have the AKM, which is why I'm taking the AUG as such, so I can use it for now and then hope for the AKM in the long run. train there. Now this isn't the military train. Because the military's train doesn't spawn here. Does that suppressor not fit on the Orge one? I don't think it does, no. I'm pretty sure it doesn't in fact.
So I might as well loot these. We could potentially find ourselves a cleaning kit in here. So when these spawn, they always spawn with the doors closed. So it looks like nobody's been. Looks like nobody's been in. It could be a whole heap of junk. Sometimes you can get like a Mosin in one of these. Which I don't really want. But you can get bullets occasionally. But you can you can get some half decent stuff. Something like a leather kit or an epoxy or a... Uh, or, or a uh, weapon cleaning kit. That, that kind of thing is what I'm hoping for. Even the cooking pot is pretty useful. we have it so that's kind of that was worth looting just for that now i feel like the trade-off for the sks was definitely worth it you know we can use this now Laszlo, yeah, I understand what you think, and you're not wrong for what you think, just as I'm not wrong for kind of disagreeing, you know, opinions are only opinions, you know, but the thing is, Namalsk does have those challenges, but it's such a small map, you know, like, like, Namalsk has those challenges that you enjoy, but it doesn't take, like, if you want to go from the spawn area to Candy Cane, that would be maybe like the equivalent of going from the spawn area to the Northwest Airfield on Chernerus, right? It doesn't take longer, because... Yes, it's uh, yes, it's a, a much hard, more arduous journey, but the map is so much smaller Lamp it that it, it balances it out. You know? Service today, Z emailed Bohemia. Uh, whereas on Chernerus, when if you add those features, you you haven't got the balance of the map size. It's just fucking huge. And whilst you're right, if it's what you want, it's what you want. You can't be wrong, but it would make the game really tedious for others. Uh, the whole joy of DayZ is the sandbo sandbox kind of nature of it. And if you, if you make the journeys really arduous and really slow, you know, some people might play DayZ four hours a week. If it takes four hours to get from Berezino to, I don't know, uh, you start in Berezino and then by the time you're logging off, you're, uh, I don't know, Krasnostav because it's so much harder. Very big exaggeration. Perhaps you might be more Severograd. But if you, if you literally four hours of gameplay is just getting... From a new spawn to being in a mid-tier area, and that's the best you can do. That that wouldn't be for a lot of people, you know. Uh, smile. That, I know that's pretty cool, really. Like you're right. We were red flashing and absolutely done for. Lebedev four zero. And that's the other thing, Laszlo. You know, like you could literally have days where. It rains and then it stops raining. You dry all the stuff out and then it rains again. You know, oh god, it ain't never stopping. Hi all. There are servers out there though that might give you what you want, like Intense or whatever. There are more challenging servers that you can go and try and find that kind of gameplay from. You know, I'd be staggered if this tent has got anything. From red flashing to August and suppressor, LFG, Red Heart, Red Heart. So that's where we left before when we were going for the heli. We should just have to go this way a bit, I think. I don't want to be on that side of the, uh, the water, I can't remember. Uh, Erkanoz, thank you very much for the prime. Smile, wait, smile, wait for the flash. Uh, cheers for the super chat, dude. Thank you. T 
Tigor, hello, hope you're good. Topper, Lebedev. <laughs> Cheers for the support, Tokarev. Tokarev, what? Topper dude? What, not Topperev? Tokarev rounds and Topper in the chat. over the post but I need some more stamina to come back first. I'm not even sure I need to be over this way but God, it's a bit, a bit on the dark side. That's more up there I think I need to be but anyway let's go this way briefly. No, I'm going the right way. I had the right... Uh, I'm just going this way. There's a feed shack up this way. I, I'm kind of thinking maybe you might, might get lucky on a leather kit or something, but I'm heading towards the summer camp. I was thinking about the summer camp more for a weapon cleaning kit, but now I've got it. Maybe we should head towards the military base first. I don't know, because we've got decent gear. I'd just like to make the AK go. That would be good. Judas Penis. <laughs> Judas Penis. Thank you very much for the do sub. And thank you for the bits as well. Bye. One Angry Guy and Cons Dizzle and Judas before that once again. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. The zombies do not curse, proud dad. No, if you're playing over Christmas, uh, the 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 uh, Santa Claus zombies kind of uh, like scream in a kind of ho 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 kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, no, they don't talk. Barbaric. Well, yeah. I nearly had another annoying death, but thankfully uh, I got shot to red flashing and managed to get away. We're now pretty geared, doing okay, all being well. How does it go, Wrench? That'll have to be a one-off, dude, because my voice is going to go if I do that again. Salvaged. Cheers for the whole year inning, dude. Thank you. How do you find the other org? Which one's better? Vish, the org we've got now is dog shit. That's not entirely true. It's okay. This org is weak. This org is kind of more like an SMG in terms of how it compares in the game. So this, is, this, this org is like an SMG. It's like the baby AK to the full size AK-74. And then you've got this Org A1 compared to the big big boy that's much better. The big boy Org is one of the best guns in the game of any type. This gun is not. Would you like cleaning kits to have more uses with all the things you can do with them? Uh, maybe. Maybe they could be five or six uses. A soft kit, a soft skill for weapon cleaning kits would be a lot better than the fucking soft skill we've got right now. Ah, oh, Jambon. Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Uh, congratulations on the on the uh, premium bonds, though, dude. The soft skill doesn't do a great deal, Judas, but in, in effect, that side is fine work, like sewing kits, basically. So, if you do a lot of chopping down trees for building bases, as you go that way, towards the hammer, you, sit, you start to get slightly more wood yield when you chop a tree down, and that's it. All right, champ. So Nothing you, you get more, say, you get more wood from a tree. On the weekend. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Surely, uh, this is a tough one. But would you rather City win the league, or would you rather Man, U Man Sorry, would you rather City win the league, or would you rather Liverpool win the league? I know you're probably going to say Arsenal, but if you had to choose between City and, and uh, Liverpool as a Man U fan, who would you pick? If it was either pick one or you get shot in the face. 
Rexler, cheers for the resub. Yeah, so on one side you've got chopping down trees, the other side is sewing kits, and like, the more you do it, the more uses you get out of a sewing kit. Shoot me in the face. <laughs> yeah, you're not the first. Yeah, several people choosing shoot in face. City, because it doesn't count, 115 charges will all always mean it doesn't count. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Dud Duddy, they, they're all very similar, if I'm honest, dude. There isn't much difference between all of the AKs. They're all very, very similar. The soft skill doesn't work with chickens. No, they're kind of random. You can get two, three, or four fillets. Uh, depending on how clean you kill the chicken and such like, uh, you might get more, but they, they, the chickens are a bit random, so you can sometimes get two, three, or four, like I say. I want to have a good look. I've been shot here a few times. I'd like to not get shot here today. Lul, uh, if you want basically basically vanilla with, with M4s, that's almost like an impossible mission, but there are some. I, I think uh, M4s don't spawn in the gas zone on day one, for example, for sure. You can find uh, you can find M4s at helicopter crash sites, for example, Been on, watching you for a little day while one. now. Go to bed with the stream. Keep on running, man. Cheers from Kentucky. Dude, thank you. Cheers for the support. Uh, Rebel, cheers for the super chat. Good loot here. It feels like nobody's been for a while. Server so restart was nearly half an hour ago, and nobody's been since then for sure. Might just take that. Might just take it now just to try and stop being light blue. The loot doesn't reset on a server restart, Scotty, you no. Know. The door state does, but the loot does not. I'm not playing official, Evan, no. It's been not much PvP, Anthony, but unfortunately when you get an early death, like, we, well, you died after two hours. I just got shot from a dude I hadn't seen, and uh, it sets you back, you know. It's it's now been about two more hours, two and a half hours since that death, and only now am I starting to get to the kind of place where you might be expecting PvP, you know. Yeah, we have got a peeper. Eric, I, I, I play more community servers. I occasionally play official, but it's not as common. Fucking hell, I was expecting him to uh, telegraph his move. I have got a suppressed bison. I should probably just shoot it. No chance of a sewing kit on here, is there by any chance? I vaguely remember getting in a fight last time I came here and shooting somebody at that door there. And getting killed by his buddy.
<laughs> Fretless, uh, thank you for the super chat. Does it indeed, eh? Well, I, I like that. Manly, eh? I've always felt I had quite an effeminate voice, if I'm honest. Now, it might be because of the ripe old age of 38. I've, I've started to get a little bit more of a, a man's voice. I do, Gyro, yeah. Still got the official character. I've not been on that yet. I've, I don't know why I've been delaying it so much, but... Uh, I know people will pick their team, but if I was planning a trip to the UK and wanted my, to my family to watch one match, any league level, which would give the best experience? Uh, I think... If you, it depends where you're going to be. You might be in London, so you might want to see a team in London. But if you could pick any, I might be inclined to inclined to pick Newcastle at home if you could. You know, like if you could watch Newcastle at home, they've got a big stadium, they've got crazily pa pa passionate fans. I am a bit biased, and Liverpool would be right up there too. But I think Newcastle, taking my own team out of it, I think I feel like Newcastle would be a really good answer to that. They really, like, more so than most places, they kind of live and breathe it. Like, Liverpool have that to some extent. I don't know what it is about that manly British voice of yours, but it makes the robot lady in my Google speaker go off at least 15 times per stream. She must be a fan. And Underscore TRMZ love. Thank you very much, uh, Miles. Sorry, Fretless and... Uh, Glad you stream on YouTube now. Now I can watch the action live and interact. <laughs> Thank you as well. Uh, Fretless, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, cheers, you and Robot Lady. And uh, Miles, thank you very much for the support also. Really, really kind, dude. Thank you very much for the super chat. And I'm glad to be on YouTube. It's it's going pretty well. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I, I, coming back to it, I'm not I'm not a scouser. I'm not from Liverpool, you know. I, I don't have... I'm not... I'm only an armchair fan, really, aren't I? Let's face it. You know, I, I was born in Lancashire. I, I started supporting them when I was, like, four. And I lived in Lancashire and I didn't know, like, I lived quite close to Burnley. I didn't even know Burnley had a football team, to be honest. So at the age I was, I picked Liverpool and I've followed them ever since, you know. But I'm not from the city. And people from the city are really into it. And Liverpool are probably close behind Newcastle in this particular thing. But uh, Newcastle fans kind of live and breathe football in a way most don't. They, they, it's like religion. At... Uh, Lots of lots of fans are going to be like, oh, our team's exactly like that. But I feel like they're probably more so than most in, in England. Nunes is... This is good news. Nunes is banging in the goals. 3-0 as well. They can, probably, they can probably rest some players now. Bring some people off. Save them for Sunday. That's really good news. Uh, so I, I've never seen Liverpool play. I'm a Liverpool fan. Like I just said, I'm an armchair fan, though, really. But so you get home and away fans. So if you're if you've got like an ardent follower of a team, they will watch their team at home in the stadium. Like so, they'll they'll say watch Liverpool play at Liverpool in in, in their they likely have a season ticket, so they'll sit in the same seat for all of the home games. And then you get the teams will have a an ardent away following as well, and they'll go on coaches or in cars or whatever. And like, say Liverpool are playing away and they're playing Arsenal, then there'll be a large number of fans that go and watch in the stadium at Arsenal as well. So they, they just go and follow their own team around. That's the, the kind of the way it more commonly works. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I needed to fix up. Fix up. Look sharp. Yeah, Sunderland is kind of a uh, similar kind of thing. Very similar, isn't it, Hulligan? It's like very, very similar. Sunderland and Newcastle are local rivals. The only thing is, this might hurt for a Sunderland fan, but you're going to get very similar levels of passion, but in Newcastle you're going to get a stadium with a lot more people in it, you know, <laughs> at the current time, you know. The colour of the uniform dictates who I cheer for in the UK, blimey.
Hard to get into a sport that everyone masters at the age of seven. What sport is that? Tiddlywinks. Uh, Fubsy, thanks for the two months. Oh, fucking can opener, yeah. These dates darts, yeah. Conkers. I get pretty awful frames on Alteria, yeah, so yeah. Fetch, uh, I think it's the size of the map. I really like Banov as well, dude. I, th I, th I, I really do like Banov. I'd quite like to play it some more. Cheers for the super chat, by the way. When it comes through, I'll answer it a bit more, I think. But Yeah, uh, why do I think Banov's dead right now? From the point of view of somebody like myself that plays lightly modded DayZ, uh, or no modded DayZ, Banov has only ever really been popular for me to play it when Zero have hosted it. Because if Zero hosts a server like that, you know, they switch between in the past. For example, similar with... Uh, Takistan's slightly different. I've played Takistan quite a bit on Spaggy's servers as well, and one or two others. But uh, the problem with Banov is that if there's a server hoster that does lightly modded, and they pick it up, then it's playable. But when it's not, it's not. For me personally, because it's not, it's not likely to have lightly modded DayZ and, and I don't really want to play a version with infinite stamina and trader braces and all the other things, you know. Decent. Any idea why Banov is dead right now? I liked it so much back in the day. Love your stream. Keep on running. But I like I like Banov. I think the problem with Banov is it's bigger than Chernerus. And I really like Banov, but it's sheer scale puts people off because it's a map that you need a lot of time invested in the loot the loot phase is quite kind of uh long and there's there's some journeys between but the, the set piece areas the design of banov is really good I, I do like it a lot i think banov's a really cool when map is the next day z event my wife even watched and enjoyed the last one corn dog the next one will be towards the i think it'll be the last sunday in february sorry where are it's like fucking hell it'll be the last sunday in march I won't be playing in the next one, but I'm hoping to be shoutcasting it, which I've never ever done before, so that should be quite interesting. Uh, are local fans generally accepting to tourists coming to games and trying to be a part of the experience, or is it frowned upon? Uh, I don't know. I've not been to a Premier League football game. I think the the bigger problem is likely to be... Uh, there was two... Who was in Roma yesterday? Two people got stabbed. Was it West Ham fans? I can't remember who it, who was. What team was in Roma? Like, I'm not blaming. All, it's not just all Italians here, but it might not have been. The the bigger problem is sometimes you get issues with home and away fans. Brighton, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I couldn't remember. So sometimes you get trouble. Now Roma are known to have some ultras, I believe, uh, and they're a bit more active than most. And obviously England has had huge problems with uh, hooliganism over the years, but. Uh, where you might get some challenges is exactly that. You might go to a game and so the people from the local area think you're supporting the other team and beat you up. Now, it doesn't happen very often. It really doesn't happen very often, but it, it can happen. And it, it can happen in football more likely than any other sport. And it's fucking annoying. It's really annoying. You know, like, you're, you're from Brighton, for example. Like, Brighton fans are, like probably just amazed to be in the last 16 of the the Europa League going on a trip to Rome which is one of the best cities on the planet it's a really exciting trip and you go there and then you're getting stabbed by some fucking mentalists by the sound of what's happened over a game of football you know it's ridiculous uh but that that unfortunately there is that small element of football that that still happens here and there Well, you can get stabbed anywhere without football, but football is the catalyst for some of these things, and it certainly was with that one. I wanted to go on the hill and look down into it, but I haven't done. I've ended up being down here looking up the hill instead.
That's good news. Oh, that's that's about the best thing we could have found here. Yeah, Macatree, I'm not reading that one out. It'll cause a lot of drama and debate, believe you me. Uh, Michael Webb, cheers for the super chat. Thank you for the support. Uh, keep, keep running, love the channel. We'll do my best, dude. Thank you. I quite like to watch some of those It Crowd uh, episodes back. I do. This, it Crowd is much better than I thought it would be. Now we are packing some serious heat. Kind of hoping we might see a zombie with a plate carrier, but I don't know. I think they're quite rare on this server anyway. bullets. Nope. Got to keep that in case we find a Vicky. take that. I'm feeling confident we might get one. <gasps> Dear my Meg. Do I ever find smoke useful? No, but I'm determined to try. The person I know that uses smoke better than everyone else is Muller. Muller remembers to use smoke really well and, and he use it I've, I've used it once or twice more lately but often if i'm playing with muller and i fall unconscious i wake up and there's smoke knocking around the place you know he's very good at that and it really does it does help it gives it like sometimes you're trying to get a little bit further away from someone it gives you some kind of like form of a little bit of extra distraction or a little bit of extra cover it can really be a, a little little benefit you know But I, I find myself always forgetting to fucking use it and falling unconscious thinking I wish I'd used my smoke. That tends to be my thing. I do it with grenades all the time as well. I don't need that anymore because I just uh, fixed up the, the one I'm wearing. Do you think it is easy for a soccer player to transition to the NFL? Or a NFL player to soccer? No. No, I don't. Uh, special teams, there's a tiny chance. Keep on making great content. But I think In there's... case you follow German Bundesliga, you got an opinion on Eintracht Frankfurt? I don't follow it. I, I only follow uh, Liverpool's future manager Zabia, manager, Zabia Alonso. That's it. <laughs> uh, thank you for the support. Mon Jake. Uh, Mon Monch K? Mon Mon Monk J. Monk J. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Uh, Drew, thank you very much for the support, dude. I think it's much more likely that some rugby players might transition to uh, to American foosball because of the type of game they play, and particularly with regards to kicking. Uh, you get like expert kickers, then maybe they might be more akin to 
super like special teams and whatnot. But and in reality, some athletes are more transferable than others. You know, take Michael Jordan for example, maybe a special case. But uh, some athletes have got like naturally good at every sport. You know, some are, and with enough practice. They could be naturally good at another sport, but no, I, I, I certainly think there's slightly more chance of a footballer translating to special teams than an American footballer translating to be a, an actual player on the pitch in football. I think that's next to no chance, but I think hardly ever have they either got a chance. Neon, but maybe if he hadn't have spent all of his life going out of his way to like like do you know like some people are like he he didn't spend all of his years practicing at baseball the same as he did basketball i guess you know i don't know michael jordan very well i'm not really into uh, the basketball but i'm willing to bet he spent a lot more time practicing and honing one than the other you know nba players could be keepers i don't think they could really i don't think they could it's just very different like being a receiver or something is makes you good at catching the ball, but it's so different. It's more about pace and power, and uh, it's so different to being a goalie, which is all about spring and, and reach, and it's just very different. I guess there is some correlation there, but I just it just would never happen, would it? You know, like Of course, any athlete with enough training, if you're like a, an out-of-this-world athlete, uh, you're likely to be able to transfer your skills, but the thing is they started honing those skills before they got to university, chances are, you know, like most professional athletes in like baseball or basketball or American football or whatever, soccer, they've been doing it for more than a decade before they turn pro, you know, like you can't just go and learn those 10 years in something else. <coughs> Is this server full? Yeah, I think so. I've had lots of fights. Well, not I had lots of fights. I've been shot at on this life and I got killed on the first life. But unless you understand the map at all, then I know maybe it was a bit unlucky not to bump into someone where we just were. But Mishkino is probably like a one in three. Like you go to Mishkino military base, you're going to get in a firefight one time in every three visits. But everywhere else I've been has been way lower. You know, maybe maybe the summer camp is one in four everywhere else has been it's been lower than one in ten you know so when you start as a new spawn and you're going on a route to try and get loot you're not necessarily look looking for players are you, you know so you're not going to find them you're looking for loot that's the game Well, soccer players probably couldn't do shit in the NFL, Darbnet. There'll be one or two that could be naturally good at being the kicker at, at special teams. Goalkeepers do a lot of sort of really powerful kicks, for, like, for example. So if you tried every goalkeeper in football, one or two of them might be good at doing special teams. If you took a lot of the specialist kickers in rugby, say you've got 100 goalkeepers, one or two might have a natural talent to be a special teams kicker. Maybe not quite good enough, but maybe. Uh, if you took uh, a 100, uh, I don't even know the position in rugby, the one that does the kicking, most of the kicking, like George Ford for England, for example. If you took him, their skill is very transferable because they do similar kicking as the special team. So they do kick in rugby from the ground between sticks in a very similar way. In fact, normally, from a, like very often, they're not always, like normally in American football, it's quite often straight on. Maybe a long way away, but normally it's straight onto the post. But in rugby, they do a lot of off angles, so they might be, they might be 30 meters away, but right on the side of the pitch, trying to get it between the sticks. You know, so rugby players, like you, if you took a hundred specialist kickers, 
there might be half of them that could potentially be really good at special teams because they were already doing the same kind of thing with the same kind of ball. But yeah, that, I think there's a chance, but the sports are so different, it's very unlikely to be a thing. Another oh. pack of wolves. Ben Foster tried to fix, fix, tw switch to NFL. <coughs> it happens every now and then. There's a, there's usually like a gimmick with somebody doing it. For there's a rugby player that's trying to do it now, isn't there? Is it, is it Welsh rugby player? There's a young rugby player. Can't remember the name. Twenty two ish, who's trying to do exactly that right now and is trying to go and have a go. I think they might be Welsh. And so maybe that that might see. But I certainly think a rugby player that plays in the right position would have a chance special teams yeah they, they're doing a very similar thing right now Lewis Reed Samit is that the name of it John Mayer just announced he's making a watch with Audemars Piget it makes me sick fucking John Mayer sings a few shit songs gets to fucking wear any watch on the planet fucking sickener I don't know a lot about John Mayer's music, by the way. I'm not being entirely serious. John Mayer is a proper, like, watch nerd. He really is. He is a proper watch nerd. He is a real, uh, he's a proper bona fide watch collector. He's massively into it. I do respect him a lot in, in the watch, kind of, in the world of watches, let's say. But it is a bit annoying because he's such a celebrity and he's known to be a watch, a watch dude. He can, he can, it's just like, uh, He's got open all access to whatever he wants, you know, like one of one watches from like the best houses and stuff that other people can't ever buy those things and he just gets them made for him. It's just so... F he does spend a lot of his own money on watches, by the way. It's it's apparently been reported that he spent something like 25% of his entire net worth on watches. So, and he's quite a wealthy dude, so he, he th that tells you quite a lot. His love of watches. H is good at keeping time. But yeah, nonetheless, I am jealous, so I'm going to moan. He actually was in, in an, he did an interview with Ed Sheeran because Ed Sheeran's a watch collector. I can't remember what magazine it was, but he, uh, he talked about it in the video and then they showed the highlights of the magazine, but it was reported. It, it might have been the New York Times. I think it might have been Time Magazine. Anyway, Time Magazine would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it, Barbaric? But he, they'd, they'd ran an article about John Mayer and how he'd wasted a quarter of his entire wealth on watches. And then two issues or three issues or whatever it was later, they then ran an entire article about the benefits of keeping money in watches and how they might be an investment for some people. So <laughs> they were kind of having their cake and eating it, like digging out John Mayer for buying stuff and then also then recommending that maybe it might be not a bad thing to buy. I kind of want to go to the well, but I think I've missed the boat on that one. Twenty-five percent of my net worth on beer. Yeah. Where is the adventure taking us now? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe the airfield. I would like to do some shooting, maybe VMC. I, I want to try and find some players. Is what I want to do. I think we might head over towards uh, Postoshka and then Vibor and airfield kind of way. What do you think of the new Speedmaster with the white dial, uh, King? Uh, Kim, sorry. I'd like to see it in the flesh, but as it looks, I, I really like it. I think it looks great. I, I think, personally, I find the black Speedmaster a bit boring. It's an amazing watch, but the, the Moonwatch, the original one, it's, it's, a, it's an icon, but I just find it a bit boring. I owned one in 2019, 
I bought it for £2,700 second hand and I sold it for £3,100 about two months, three months later. As good as it is, I, I, I liked it. It's lovely. But I just found it a bit boring. The white one looks a lot more my kind of thing. Like matte black dials are a bit dull for me. Scotty, uh, I, I, I am massively into that subject, but I don't talk about... Well, I just mentioned a watch I'd sold, but yeah, I don't talk about what I do and don't own because I don't want to get robbed, but also I didn't buy them to flex on the internet. Ezamax, yeah, they're very good. Daniel, don't let the soccer thing wind you up. Eight out of ten times people use the word soccer, particularly in a Twitch or a YouTube chat. It's bait, dude. Don't don't bite. Just do in fact, if you can, while you're in Twitch, occasionally call it soccer yourself, okay? That way you're not gonna get baited. Trust me, it's bait. When Americans call football soccer in a Twitch chat, the eight out of ten times it's definitely dollars. fucking bait. Haven't watched in a while, <laughs> but you're always my go to for some days, Ed. Love your passion for the game. Keep up the great content. Do I like Panerai? Eh, yeah, no. I, 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 really, I respect what they do. I, I'm not sure the movements match the price sometimes, but I, I, like, I like the watches. I don't like them on my wrist, though. I've only got like 17, 17 and a half centimetre wrists, and most Panerais don't look right. I, I do I do like them, though. There's a 44mm GMT with a, with a blue sunburst dial. I can't remember the model number, but I really like that. I, I've tried it on once or twice, but this sort of square shape doesn't really suit me. No, it really is bait, dude. It might not be for you, but that just means you're the you're the one of the two out of ten that aren't baiting. But trust me, dude. People come in intentionally and call it soccer, and often. It, Often out of the blue, someone coming in and saying, so what's this? What's the deal with this soccer or something? It's always fucking bait, man. I see it all the time. Believe you me. It might not be from you, but it is a lot. Ghost Wasteland. Just proving the point. On Sereno, by the way. Thank you for the resub. Drew down, thank you for the support. Michael Regan, cheers for the bits. Zeth, thank you for the super chat. Uh, cheers for tuning in when you when you can. I appreciate it, dude. Need a lot of scopes today. That one was a uh, pistol scope, though. No, don't really need that shit. Yeah, I kind of want to hunt for dudes now. I'm happy enough with the loadout. I want to find the dudes. <sighs> Too teasy. I did specifically say in a Twitch chat, right? I've fucked up my... I'm still using the gamma, actually. Let me fix that. I've lost the YouTube chat and my Streamlabs just for a sec. Let me get in these bushes. I'll fix it. And Garno is £20 heavier than AJ. I'm not surprised. He'll be quite a bit slower as well. But he'll also probably have a little bit more power. However, that power thing... I know, I know it... There's no doubt ngarnu has got shitloads of power. But with boxing gloves on, AJ will have similar power. They really, he really will. Specifically with boxing gloves on, AJ w punching like a boxer will probably punch harder than Ngannou most of the time, and then he'll have the odd like massive one. I use OBS neon, regular OBS. Kempus, I'd like something better, but something better is quite hard to get on this, so I'm happier with it now. It's fixed a bit, but uh, this particular server, plate carriers can be a bit trickier, and uh, well, we could maybe go to Vibor, but I, I don't really want to loot for a press vest. I can't really be fucked. 
Oh. There's no Zeds at there. I still think we're going to go and check it out though. Slow Francis will be so much faster. We'll see. I, something goes on here, right? There's an interesting dynamic in this conversation. You've got UFC fans that know what a beast and Garno is, and you've got boxing fans that believe that boxers are likely to beat UFC as most of the time, and that dynamic goes on in the in the, the fans. And we'll see we'll see who's right, but I think Ngarno will probably get beat. As I said earlier, though, I'll be interested. I I kind of as much as I I want I want AJ to win. I want AJ to win because I want him to fight Fury. I want to see the AJ Fury fight sooner or later. I want AJ to win. I'd, if I could pick, I'd rather have him win. But I will still have a smile on my face if Ngannou wins because he's a fucking hero. You know his story, his his life is movieable. You know it's it, it's you could definitely make a film about him for sure. Right? And, and he's an incredible dude. So we'll see. I'm really excited for Parker versus Zhang. I like Joseph Parker. I, I think he's a nice dude, and I, I, I kind of, I think Zhang's quite a nice dude to be fair. I've, well, I've not seen as much of him, but when I've heard him speak, he seems like a decent dude as well, actually. But I, I think I'll be be for, sort of for Parker in that, just because he's the smaller dude, and I think he's done, he's done pretty well considering. You know, he had a couple of pretty difficult losses, and he's he's done pretty well since. But I don't know. Part of me is saying that because I get the feeling if Zhang keeps winging, winning, he's going to end up fighting Fury, and I, I'm not that excited to see Zhang versus Fury. I think it might be a bit dull. It could be wrong. I should, should have won against Fury and we'll walk through AJ. I, I don't think that's the case, Adam. I, I think... Uh, I, I think... The form of one fight is not enough. That fight was... A terrible fight. It, that was about the worst Fury performance I've ever seen. The most undercooked I've ever seen Fury. It was... It was an exhibition. Like, that was Fury turning up like... I don't know, like it was some cherry exhibition or something. It really was. It that 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 fight was a little bit like when Rocky fights uh, Thunderlips in Rocky Three. <laughs> it was just to to, Fury, to to Tyson Fury. It was a bit of a joke, and it shouldn't have been because he was he nearly got embarrassed, and he probably deserved to as well, like you say. But that's the truth. He he turned up thinking it was a bit of a piss about like having an exhibition. He was gonna going to be a bit fleet of foot and quicker than the dude and heavier than the dude and able to push him around and he couldn't but that won't be the case with Joshua he'll be turning up like a pro boxer and he'll have prepared like it's a pro boxing fight I do Furious Fingers yeah I do think Fury beats, Fury beats Usyk There, Dan. Well, we'll see on Friday, won't we? We'll see on Friday. People want to make excuses. The the the, the excuse is pretty obvious. He was fat. He's never been thin, but he was massively undercooked, even by his own standards. And anyone that's ever watched him fight before knows damn well that that's true. Now, it might be an excuse, and like even me on Twitter afterwards, I was on Twitter saying I thought Ngannou deserved to win it. I'm a Fury fan, but nonetheless, I was still on Twitter saying I think Ngannou deserved it. I think he was robbed, and so on. So I, I'm I'm not being completely biased like you seem to be implying however I, I've seen Fury fight loads that wasn't Fury <laughs> that wasn't Fury at all and that and I don't think it was because Ngannou was so good he couldn't be Fury it's because he hadn't fucking turned up he, he didn't try at all this doesn't make sense there's no zombies at it I'm incredibly unlikely to get loot 
But here I am running across an open field to get to it anyway. I'm not sure this is wise. If you farted in my car, I'd roll the window up. Love you. Well, that's uh, good to know. <laughs> There's some part of me wants to say uh, something really pretentious right now, which isn't true, but I'm going to say it anyway. I understand it's not true. I wouldn't get in a car that was so old it still had rolling windows anyway. <laughs> if you ain't got electric windows and aircon, I ain't fucking riding, dude. Could be handy. I think all we've got there is the shit that somebody else didn't want. Pro Philistine, I, I haven't seen Fury fight loads in the last three years. I've seen all the fights, by the way. Uh, I don't think Fury is gassed. I don't think Fury is over the top. He's 35. We'll have to wait and see. We'll find out when he fights Usyk, won't we? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. That's the beauty of sport. That's the beauty of sport. You can take opinions based on what you see with your eyes and people see different things, you know. Uh, and that's where gambling comes from, isn't it? That's why people will see one person winning over another. And as a former addicted gambler, you know, I, I guess one of the <clears throat> one of the things I used to believe is that if I watch things and I really watch sport and I watch them with my own eyes, I could judge things and make an, my own decision. Now, as an addicted gambler, I lost, so my, maybe my decision making isn't very good, but I think my read of the form, that's my opinion of it. My opinion is that Fury hasn't turned up properly prepared for a fight since he last fought Wilder. I don't think he's finished, I don't think he's over the top, I think he's had easy fights and he's been very complacent, but he's still won them all, allegedly he won the last one. And it, and that bears out, look look at how fit he is right now, Look look at the pictures, he's so much fitter than he's been possibly ever but certainly since Wilder 2 uh, and I think that bears out he knows he's up against Usyk who's a truly world level elite fighter and so for the first time since he fought Wilder he's training and preparing like he's fighting a world elite level boxer and I think you'll see Fury being a very different dude for that fight I think we'll see a different Fury maybe we won't maybe he's finished but that's the beauty of sport isn't it you, that's the drama isn't it you can think one thing and then after the fact you can think another So I wasn't planning to come to the airfield, but because I've gone to the hel the, the uh, heli, we're here anyway. Hmm. Not go on there. It fucking does. I don't know why that wasn't. That can fuck off. I just wanted to have a look at it. I wasn't sure what it would be like. I don't want that shit. Uh, cheers, Redline dude. Uh, Shallows, thank you for the super chat. Let me catch up on these. Uh, Fury un underestimated him 100%. AJ won't. I think that's that's my read on it. We'll see, though. Like, Nganu may well have trained on, as it were. He may well have become a better boxer, but... I think a lot of people are underestimating boxing if they think he can turn up and have one fight and then suddenly become a world level boxer. I, I don't think that's the case. When he's fighting AJ, he's fighting someone that's been to the Olympics. He's had multiple amateur fights. He's been doing boxing for forever. AJ came to it quite late, but he's got 10 years boxing training plus. And when was the the Olympics? Was in 2012. He's been he's been boxing since forever, like 15, 16, 17 years plus. And all of that regimented training aimed specifically towards boxing will count a lot <laughs> against someone that's been training for another type of sport and is now going this way later on, you know. Uh, Shallows, thank you very much. Krugs, thank you very much. Uh, I know where I know where the word came from, Krugs. I, I do like being educated about the language. It's lovely. <laughs> uh, educated with super chats is a whole other thing, though, dude. <laughs> Just for the support, man. Extramental, Stian, thank you very much for buying the merch. Cheers for buying the mug, dude. Thank you. 
Any more videos with Muller and Sauer? Possibly might be one from Monday. Obviously, there'll be a part two to the... Uh, there'll be a part two coming from the uh, Lights Out. Unfortunately, part two won't be on Saturday. It's not ready, so... Lights Out will end up being on uh, Saturday week. It's definitely easier to go from MMA to boxing than boxing to MMA, especially if you're somebody like... Uh, like Nganu, who's a, a striker, you know, who's a stand-up fighter, more so than anything else by a mile. He's, he's like we were just talking about transferable skills. He definitely has got transferable skills. But, I'm sorry to say, you don't go from a slow, plodding, uh, like, telegraphed puncher, which, as much as he played, he did great against Fury, he still was slow and plodding and telegraphed his punches. You don't go from that to being suddenly some kind of elite level fighter in three or four months. But he's so strong, he could still knock out Joshua. He could still knock him out. He could. But people that think he's going to train into some kind of speed freak that's that's really, like, not telegraphing all his punches since he fought Fury are fucking deluding themselves. However, he's so strong and he's so powerful, he could still win. I, ain't, I definitely can see the way he can do it. Slow versus slow. AJ's not quite the same level of slow. I think that AJ will look very quick on Friday. Like if you, like when you get to watch the fight, watch the way AJ is standing and the way AJ is punching and how effortless, effortless it seems, and then watch the way like uh, Ngannou's kind of sort of rolling his shoulders and how he. The difference is huge between how the two will punch. Again, I, he could still win though. He really could. Gringo, well, well, we'll see on Friday, you know, like, uh, it doesn't happen very much. And and to be fair, like, McGregor did pretty well against Mayweather, you know, like, but a lot of people were genuinely thinking McGregor would easily win that fight at the time, believe it or not. Loads of people were in here saying all the same stuff that people are saying about Ngannou, people were saying about Mayweather, you know, like, exactly the same. Who's your daddy? I really want Mike Tyson to smash him up and win that fight. That would be epic if he does. Uh, cheers for the support, uh, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the super chat. <clears throat> there's clearly, like, there's no doubt that MMA fighters are much more all-round fighters than boxers that's fucking obvious you know but they're fighting under rules and that's the difference that's the point of difference that's why I think the fighters are likely to win should we go here we could probably have a look towards the plane I think we might go here can't really see much from here that there are, somebody moves around you can see them I've not seen the trailer for the Nook Fallout show I tell you what I did see I saw the trailer for the Borderlands film my god that looks fucking shite <laughs> the Borderlands film looks fucking horrendous uh, if ever there was a film that shouldn't have been made, I, th I feel like that might be it. I, I might be wrong, it might be epic. But it looks fucking shit. Sorry guys, one sec. Sounds a bit like an SSG.
I'd Thank like that M16, but... Thank you for what you do helping to bring another person to Day Z. No, don't have the May space. May your day and stream be wonderful. Watching from Michigan, USA while at work. Thank you, dude. That does sound a bit SSG-like. Oh shit, I've got way too close to those heads. I've not seen the new uh, Adam Sandler film on Netflix yet. How was it, Angberg? If you can at me with it, I'll try and see it. It's bad, is it, Angry Angry Chair? I, I was a bit unsure. What, even better than that? What's that one? Jack and Jill. It can't be worse than Jack and Jill, surely. <sighs> this definitely can't go wrong. I should have put it on double. I, that was an easy hit. And I did hit it. I did think, just as I fired, I was like, should have done double. That's not the same guy. I pressed C. I pressed C to crouch there, it didn't fucking crouch. <laughs> this dude is pra crazy fucking brave. <gasps> That's fucking why, GG to him. I did stand up a bit early there. That was a lot of multiple shots there. That was kind of weird. He was brave and I was uh, dumb, I guess. I don't know. Where's my gun? Your great work. Keep it up. That was close. Keep running. Thanks for all the awesome streams. Oh my god, this feels bad. Well, I remember to use the smoke grenades anyway. Fuck. Fucking hell, what is that cannon? Shit. What the fuck is that? I need to reposition to another map.
No, it's not worth it yet. Don't do it. Let's move. Let's keep moving first. Well, I'm glad I hit the first shot, and I feel lucky to be alive right now, but there's a lot more players here than it kind of looked like. My God. Yeah, I've not seen the Fallout trailer. This is a really obvious flank, but I feel those trees behind there might be the way to go. He may already have done that. Dead. Double blaze shot and he's not dead. Can't fucking see him. Trying to use all the utility. And boom goes the dynamite. That looked close. I think he was near that bush. He only fell unconscious because he kind of fell and rolled like an uncon dude would do. So the he had a black plate on, I think, but I think it knocked him uncon. But I think that's the dude with the crazy big gun. I think that's the dude with the crazy big gun. 16k watching. Holy shit, who did we get raided by? <gasps> yeah. Unless it's a view bot. If, if it's some kind of view bot, then I don't want it. If it's real viewers, great. If it is real viewers, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. I want to go and pick that gun up, even if it does cost me, I kind of want to do it. Yeah, I think it's some kind of viewbotting thing. If it is, then that sucks. Where the fuck was the dude? I can't see him now, now I'm running in the open. Yeah, fucking viewbots suck. I, I, this is really annoying because I'm now running back to where I just was, which is really, really dumb. He's kind of level with that pine tree. I, I wasn't looking quite in the right place. I think I actually finished him with the grenade. 16k all shadow band. <laughs> I, I shouldn't do this. At least my health is back to full. Well, not full, but full speed at least. AWM, M4 with no mag. Oh, 
So, I probably should have left the uh, left the blaze and not the AWM, but I just want to get this going for now. I haven't got much in the way of. Uh, well, that was a bit of a call, wasn't it? By the way, oh shit, it's badly damaged as well. All right, I'm going to leave the M4 here, I think, for now. I don't. I just don't have the mags. I've got. A t I've only got a ten-round mag. I think the M4 can fuck off for now. Take M4 suppressor. I've got one already. I've got one there. I'm gonna leave it in the bush for now. I'm kind of. That wasn't the hardest shot in the world, but I was very pleased to hit the double there. Like. If you fire a blaze double at that kind of range and then you miss, you're in deep shit because they get the return fire and all you've got to do is reload. Oh, I need the defender vest as well. Fuck me dead, Paul. I've got that half a leather kit off of him. So we can take his defender. The M16 in the bunker did not have a mag, dude. No mag. Should be taking his bandage as well. I haven't got any bandages. It's lucky I didn't bleed when I was shot, because I'd be fucked if I was. Would it be good to dump the M4 and... Dim nah, not really. I've, I've lift, I'm leaving the M4 where it is. Because I can come back and have another go for it later, right? I can, I can go and hunt around, maybe if I'm not dead to these guys or we end up killing them or whatever. As soon as I can get a 30 round Stanag, I can come back and get it, right? I can come back and get it easy, but right now I, I can't... I can't see the sense in dropping an AUG with a 30 round mag for an M4 with a 10 round mag when I can't fix it either, so the M4's badly damaged, I've only got one slither of a cleaning kit, it's not worth it. He doesn't have any fucking mags either, alcohol tincture? Yeah, that, that will take. He doesn't have any bandages. Left to use rags. Don't think I've ever had this AWM. So the ones that are on the other side, if they were going to come round, they'll likely go round the top here and they'll be coming through. They've probably had time to already do this, but I think they'll probably come through here. So first thing we should check for is the, the, the two players. It was two and not one, so I shot one on the top there and he staggered. Then the other one that was rolling around in the front, he was his mate. They weren't together. They were together. They weren't separate players. They were separate players, sorry. But they'll probably be coming round. That M that AWM will have probably tickled their fancy as well. Yeah, I do need to fix the defender vest. That definitely is something I need to do sharpish. We, we're not going to maybe get a full clean out of it with this kit either. 
Uh, Ismo, thank you very much. I think that was just rock falling. I don't think it was a dude. Uh, Ismo, thank you very much. Loonton Louie, thank you for the 7. VV8, thank you very much too. Uh, Dank and Brat, Brat Apple, uh, Mr. 308 Blaze, Chief Reaper, thanks for the support. That was cool, it, like coming outside the wall and spotting the dude. That was kind of badass. It's nice when the movement works. He was expecting me to do what I did. I just managed to get through the wall before he saw me. You can repair mags with a weapon cleaning kit as long as the mag isn't ruined. So I think he woke up. I think he woke up after the uh, the initial hit. And uh I think the grenade killed him. There's a zombie on the factory roof, yeah. Wanted to be doubly sure I'd got the uh, the ranging turned down. See if I had. I don't have. I was having a look to see if I had a uh, lock pick. look that geared for an AWM. I wonder if you found it at a heli or something. I don't know. So they might have pushed round. I don't know. I, I want to have a little scout round and see. I'm going to... Not seeing now. That's the one that shot at me when I was trying to get over. He appeared just as I crossed out. It was almost like he had fucking third person, which he doesn't have, but fair play. I saw him in the window just as I tried to move. I can't believe I'm not finished already. doesn't know the difference between someone going on con and dying, which I sometimes get wrong still. Oh my god, that's lucky. How am I still alive?
He's the one that fired at me as I was trying to get across. So the defender vest has done me pretty solid, hasn't it? Where did he even hit me? I have a I was just checking to see if I had anything I could use to warm me up, but I don't. shot me from that window. How do I get him to look again? I can't bait. I can't bait him because the zombies will be all on me if I try to shoot. Maybe throw something. I, I can't throw anything far enough. I've got no smokes and no nothing. to move because of the zombie. I've used the smokes. I haven't picked any others up. Maybe the dead dude have one and I didn't pick it up, but no, I haven't got any smokes.
He's probably still in there. The doors are closed. We have to remember that there was other players around and he probably knows that too, so... He's actually doing it. Liverpool are winning 5-1. Oh god, that's a good that's a good prep for uh, for Sunday, isn't it? Takes the pressure off as well. If that's the last 16 of the UEFA Cup, right? They can probably play a, a, a safer team in the home round from 5-1 up and save the players for the league. Laszlo, I, I don't think climbing up there is going to be so good. He, he just seemed to hear me coming. I don't know how he heard me coming, but I'm guessing that's what happened. Unless there's another person overwatching or something, and then they called it. You know, something like that happened. Is it lack of ammo that you're carrying so many guns? Well, I really want to drop the blaze, but five M or eight AWM bullets doesn't seem like a good moment to drop the blaze. I've got one mag for the AK and the org. So right now, yeah, it, it's lack of mags slash bullets, basically. He's definitely still in there. I'm probably too injured for this. They're all going to block each other, aren't they? Yep. <gasps> it has to be somewhere. seems so unlucky like he, he just happened to peek as I ran you know like now he's not peeking at all I saw him appear in the window I was looking at the windows thinking if I if someone pe appears now we're in deep trouble and then he did I doubt he booked it there's zombies outside I think if he'd left the door one of the doors would likely have been open I doubt he booked it. I feel like he's uh, he's still in there. My bigger issue right now is food. Uh, did the dead guy with the AWM, did he have food on him? I don't remember. took his beans which I just ate. Well I guess I, I already did the right thing then, I just forgot. One cannon I took it. That's a double blaze shot.
so often people kind of camp in that that building like like that little area they they use that to overwatch the the airplane and to the south so a couple of shots doesn't hurt is remarkably tricky to overwatch. They're just not moving either. Like there's no movement around in there or anything, it's strange. I don't think he's combat logged. As far as he's concerned, I think he thinks I'm dead. If he didn't know I was dead, he would have carried on shooting, wouldn't he? You know, he, he had me banged to rights there. He must have thought I was dead, otherwise he wouldn't have let me live. Just don't have the health right now. You'd think he'd appear in one of the windows. I don't think he's in there anymore. Maybe he did run. Must have moved by now. I, I think there's probably as much chance he's still there. Like, if he'd moved while I was uncon, I think the zombies would be gone, and they're, they're not. The zombies were still around, weren't they? Basil, thank you for the two months. I'm just going to wait a little while till my health comes back a bit more. Uh, cooked Basil, thanks again. Rise Axel Rod. Uh, Ismo before that, thank you. Instead of wait for my health to come back. I'm not doing am I? I'm gonna wait for a little while. I'd like my movement to be full. My guns tank some damage, that sucks. I tried to put that on the M4 and fucked it. Oh man, you're hearing footsteps. There's a zombie on my roof, dude.
slightly less point in having this now because it's damaged. I could fix it. I think I'm not going to do that for now. I don't want to know what he's done. I want to find out. As soon as I'm white with a gap, I'm going to go and have a look. White Dark, I was shot unconscious and to red health by someone in this building. I managed to wake up, I think, because they didn't realise I was dead. I thought they, they thought I was dead. So they didn't realise I was only Uncon and I managed to get up and run away. Baroness, I know I've done it before, that's what I'm thinking, but I need my movement back. I'll probably die if I try to do that, but I think I'm going to try and do it. Nothing helps for health regen other than the, the height of your blood, dude. As long as you're not starving or hungry or anything, then health regen vitamins certainly don't help anyway. The only thing that can increase your health regen is how high your blood is. So if you can take a blood bag or a saline, if your blood is low, the health regen is slower. Beyond that, it's just down to it's just down to not like if you're starving or thirst dying of thirst, then you don't regen. I thought I heard a gun swap or something then. The fuck is that? That's just something just thrown from behind. Oh, he's throwing stuff through the floor. The fuck? He's throwing stuff. Why would he do that? I, I'm starting to wonder if this dude is watching the stream based on how he shot me in the first place and now what he's doing. It makes sense why he didn't kill me. It also makes sense why he, uh, why he never peaked until I got halfway across the gap. Why he's not peaked ever since. There's been shots, he's never peaked. Not, there's no guarantee that that's the case, but it feels more likely.
wonder where he was throwing them from. Like the walkway's that side. I, I wonder if he was on the... Like he's throwing it through the door. I, I don't really fully know how he does that. The Zeph donated five dollars. This smells funny, although entertaining. It's GTFO. Oh my god. Fuck me dead. <laughs> Same. Destroyer of stream sniping virgins. So Much he love. may GG. He may be with that guy. You may or may not remember when we were uh so you know Mag. When we were shooting at those girls on the other side, one Dude had a white had armband MVG. and one didn't. He had MVGs, did he? It's not the end of the world right now, but yeah, I could use those. The MVGs on this server don't matter that much. It doesn't get that dark. Like, I... I don't really need them. I'm quite pleased with that scope shot on the dude behind me. I feel like they might have been together. I really do. I think that's why he started, he was kind of just waiting and then he, he started showing his face when his buddy was behind me. Uh, and if you remember I shot on the other side, there was two and they were both wearing white armbands. I feel like that's the same dude. Could be wrong.
fuck are these guys geared? I need to take those bullets out of those mags, but I'm not going to do that now. It's going to make a shitload of noise. Thought I had another one. Decent. Poor lad's got a cannonball sized hole in his chest now rolling on the floor <laughs> laughing. Yeah, he may well have. Sindok, thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, thank you very much for the resubscribing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Right, I did have a, I did have a sewing kit. I, I, I suppose I dropped them. I don't know. I think one of the dead guys had two, and I didn't pick them up. I'm more focused on bullets, which I think was the right choice. Lucky to be alive. He hit me with this org. He hit me pretty well. Am I still alive? Uh, probably just waited long enough to be uh, slightly higher health. The stab vest in the first place, changing to the defender vest, kind of helped. If this dude was a stream sniper and he's smart about it, he may well have come out and he'll be waiting for me outside now and that'll be that, I'll get killed. I don't know. His movement has been interesting, but never know. He started waggling around then, but we know that there was two, and that was probably his buddy, and he knew he was... If he, if they knew where I was. And it's possible the whole time there's been two. Oh. What the fuck was that? Where did that come from? That's horse shit. Second player, maybe. Maybe there was somebody else. Uh, it was fun though. It was fun. I'm very pleased to get a shot with the a uh, the AWM on somebody. I'm glad I got someone, but I don't think he killed me in there. He was dancing around behind that thing there. That makes no sense. But the whole time he's dancing in that corner looking at me. I think he had another friend, to be honest. Uh, what time are we at? Six hours deep. <sighs> I'm sorry to say it, guys. That only leaves leaves one outcome it's just a, it's a bit late for me to start another life six hours once i get to about six if i die i'm afraid that's where the 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 uh the run ends for the day uh i really enjoyed that i don't know if that dude was stream sniping or not he might not have been he might have been part of a bigger group there might have been some on the other side there might have been a big group or something but it was it felt a bit sus from my end let's say you know <laughs> Uh, Donk, thank you for the resub. Uh, Cornbread, Brozza, Minuteman, uh, Zeph, thank you very much. Uh, that's it for me, guys, now. I am uh, not back until Sunday, I don't think. Uh, so uh, 
if you're watching the boxing tomorrow, right, enjoy enjoy the Ngano versus Fury. Uh, sorry, Fury. Ngano versus uh, Joshua fight. If Ngano wins, you by all means feel free to tweet me. I told you so. I'll look forward to seeing those. <laughs> uh, but when Joshua wins, I expect you to all front up and come in on Sunday and tell me how you were wrong. <laughs> remember, okay? Remember either way. Uh, cheers for coming in, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much for tuning in. There's many streamers you can watch. Cheers for tuning in here. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.